Is everybody set and ready to go? I'm ready. Yep, yeah, ready. I am indeed set and ready to go. I uh, should be should we do like a uh, introduction thing again? I I just finished my little introduction. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, but I'm yeah. What what should we? Should what should we do? What should we say? Mm-hmm. However y'all want to do it. it. It don't matter to me. However we want to do it. Kick us off, Apollo. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Apollo, and I welcome you to Fillard University. Class B edition. I am your host, streamer extraordinaire, Apollo Prophet, the fighter and warlock multi-class combo. Apple, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh wait, there's an ad. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Of course there's an ad. Naturally. Boo. Hate these ads. This is why YouTube is better. YouTuber. It's all coming together. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's what the universe asked. Let's see. Let me know when you guys are good on those ads, because they're not good. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I feel that on a spiritual level. I love how the chat just hop, starts off hopping. It makes me excited. It's kind of scary. Me. It makes me excited. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're not. Mm-hmm. The new avatar looks amazing, Shadow. Thank you so, so much. Oh, no problem. It was just a simple, a simple copy and paste. It doesn't take that long. It's just it remember to do it. Chawi, I still got your old one. Can you send me the new one? Or actually, you put it in chat, right? Yeah, I put it in our um, okay. team Discord and on the main Discord, actually. So, yeah, it's, but it's in our team. Right? She bad as hell, okay? Right? Okay, ads all <laughs> Period. Done. Ads all done. Yes, I'll add, the ad is done. Take us over. Alrighty. Then, in that case, I am your DM extraordinaire, Apple Juice. I will be tormenting these four lovely people and playing everyone else that's not their characters. So I'll pass it over to the next one to my left, Kyrie. Hi. Didn't catch you there. <laughs> I am blue. Uh, they then pronouns. I'm playing Kyrene. And I am excited to be the uh, gay, chaotic, uh, magical person <laughs> that Kyrene usually is. Oh, and I'll pass it to Chawi. Hey, y'all. I'm Kay. Can y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Hey, y'all. I'm Kay playing Chawi. She, her pronouns. I am your crafty, troublesome, excessively creative artificer rogue. And I will pass it to Shaq. Hey, what up, y'all? I'm um, Plot Smoke. I'm playing Shauku. Uh, Fire Denazi drew it, and um, we're looking to get crazy tonight. All right. Well, in that case, I see no reason. Now I have a damn ad. Me too. Does all chat have an ad or just us? I'm gonna I think it's just that. me. Actually, yeah, I don't have yeah. an ad. No, yeah, I don't have one either. Some people have it, some all people right. don't. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I see Legend just said in chat that they have an ad. Mm -hmm. Coco Mac Gaming also has an ad. Twitch gotta get that money. Right. Right. And it's like I'm not buying none of this stuff. I'm sorry, Twitch. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute and all, but uh, no. Listen, I yeah, appreciate. Right. I appreciate everyone who spends the time to come out and watch these ads. Listen, I know <laughs> you can just wait till the videos come out on YouTube, but you know, sometimes you just gotta be there in the moment. Like for the egg bukake. <laughs> I'm telling you all for that. <laughs> that wasn't me. That, that wasn't me. <laughs> you started it. I hadn't said it since. <laughs> you started it. You started it. You started it. I'm sorry. I call him like I see him. <laughs> All right. We are going to go full throttle then. So without further ado, uh, what is that welcome to Hillard University. When we last left our prospective graduates, they had just recently completed their very first examination in order to get into Hillard University. Upon being assigned a prefect and meeting some other interesting students, one other interesting professor, and having a somewhat tense conversation with the Hillard faculty before eventually retreated to their dorms, where they leveled up to four last session. With that in mind, as you guys awaken at your very, very first day at Pillard University, I would like you to describe the rooms that you had created for yourself with the guidance of Kaslin, your Drow Elf Prefect. Starting with the pilot. Out the gate, hey, okay. So, <clears throat> Apollo has made a very, um, a very oriental base room. It has a nice uh, little paper sliding door along with a nice, uh, a nice little deck. On the side of that is a um, bonsai garden. Uh, and even further to the side and further down, um, there's actually a little bit of an archery range with uh, targets and hay bales right behind it. Um, for some reason, uh, the light in the room seems to be just kind of natural sunlight uh, coming in. Uh, but there's no actual sun to be seen. It's it smells of um, cherry blossoms and roses, and uh, it's actually quite summery warm, as if uh, just a little bit away from the beach. And that is his room. Do arise early in the morning. We shall switch over towards Kyrie's. Uh, Kyrene's room is full of plants. They have like a really large window kind of uh, overlooking the courtyard. Um, so plenty of natural sunlight. They have shelves everywhere just full of plants with like lamps attached to them, like sunlight attached to it. They have a giant like circular bed in the middle of the uh, room full of you know pillows and fluff and one of those like uh like those i forget what they're called but like those see-through like drapes around the bed kind of like that uh you know they have like their attached bathroom and it's kind of funky like it's like very brightly colored nothing matches it's knickknacks like everywhere uh random pots and plants just scattered across <laughs> every surface uh you can think of and journals just thrown about um it's kind of like a like a cluttered like a neatly cluttered kind of bohemian aesthetic all right all right next up shall we shall we opens her eyes in a massive bed piled with blankets and sheets and appears to be surrounded by the sky at the exact time that it's outside. So the sun is just kind of breaking over the edge of the trees and it's filling her room with like this warm greenish brown, almost golden light. 
She gets up and walks out into the main area of her room, which is basically floor to ceiling, and the ceiling is very, very high bookcases. The bookcases are filled with all kinds of rare, magical books. And at the bottom of the bookcases, there are different craft desks, one for pottery, one for metalwork, one for kind of weird stuff. And then there's another desk that's just covered with daggers. She goes into her bathroom, which has a massive tub, more of a pool in the middle, and freshens herself up. And then grabbing maybe one or two of the daggers on her way out, she heads into the common area of the dorm room. Right. And finally, Shaoku. Um, well, Shaoku's room is pretty much a lounge for the most part. It's, uh, there's pretty much no uncomfortable seat in the room. <clears throat> Large couch, doubles as a bed. Every chair is comfortable. Every chair, couch, whatever, you can literally fall asleep in if you want to. Um, Lots of earth colors, like charcoal, grays, and browns, and like Indian reds and stuff like that. Um, he wakes up, he slept pretty good, goes right to wake and bake, and uh, <laughs> just kind of takes a minute. Ember is kind of like there playing around, so he reaches and in, into his bag and Gives Ember like a pinch of uh, catnip and uh, just kind of takes a moment, looks outside and just kind of enjoys the quiet for a little bit. You see Ember, this sort of blood red cat just sort of immediately starts to play with the catnip and starts smoking from the heat of its paw and it seems content. Sooner or later, the lot of you make your way towards the common room. This common room is fairly basic. However, it was created by Kaslin to just sort of show you the gist of augmenting your room. So it's just a, a standard dormitory common room, which you can edit to your uh, liking as you do. But uh, they informed you that this sort of first it week at Hillard was to be mainly orientation centric, uh, getting you your schedules, getting your syllabuses, getting you maps of the campus, and that you were to knock on her door whenever the four of you were ready. Good question. Out of game. Is there a way on Roll20 to like move or move around the the avatars. The which ones? On um, so the little names at the bottom. Uh, yeah. Little names at the bottom. Yeah. So what okay, you're gonna yeah, want to do it's... is go into your settings. Okay. I believe it is in text chat options, probably. Enable background chat settings and the chat. Out. I know there's no, a way you can make it I think up. it's an audio and video. Yeah, it's an audio, yeah, audio and video, video, and then go to video display. Video display, and I have mine set to names only. Mm -hmm. Same. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Not a problem. So I'm sorry. What was the last thing you said? So the last thing was that your prefect, Kaslin, this sort of um. What appears to be a mute drow elf that uses a talking crow as a sort of translator told you to meet her once you were ready for just uh, university basics and tour. <sighs> Do you all think this tour is going to include breakfast because I'm fucking starving? Mm. Good point. Good point. I hope so. I mean, I'm sure we can ask. We can ask. Worst case scenario some rations for you let's do that i'm sure they have like a cafeteria of some sort 
After all, they did have a big banquet for everyone who returned safely last night. They did. Yeah, if old boy didn't go through all the garlic bread. I was just about to say <clears throat> that because I was definitely looking forward to that garlic bread. <laughs> mm. Good luck. That garlic bread was on point. There was garlic bread? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, you know, last night and Kyrie like kind of looks at Apollo. You good? I am fine. Okay. Apollo images of the previous day flashed with you, your rival, uh, Rivulet Robin's Egg, sort of socially ambushing you and trying to embarrass you in front of your friends. Correct. Yeah. Well, well, what was up with your people there? She is, and Apollo looks over to Shaoku. She is not my people. She is a nuisance and someone that I'd rather avoid during my t time here at Hillard. Uh, so is she? Probably just nods. She just in the back like that. It's mm -hmm. like approved. They seem pretty set on making your life difficult. Do you want that to stop? And Apollo looks at these three, <laughs> these three wild people who miraculously mm. they uh, got through the forest with. Listen, I do not need you to fight my battles. I'm going to, I'm going to win here. Okay? That is my plan. I'm not going to let some girl, sorry, not sorry, not going to let her ruin my experience. I'm going to have a great time, I'm going to make friends, and I'm going to become valedictorian at all costs. Chawi listens to his speech peacefully and then kind of narrows her eyes. I don't know how you've missed this, but you've already made friends. And having friends support you in your battles does not mean that the reward of winning the battle is anything but yours. And I'm sorry, what does her being a girl have to do with anything? It wasn't. I was, Apollo. I was saving that for later. <laughs> Apollo just kind of fumbles. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, person, she-beast, were-monster, whatever she likes to identify herself as. I'm not going to allow her to beat me. Not again. Not here. Shaoku nods in complete understanding, and he just says, all right, well, just get at me when you're ready to uh, talk about that all-cost part. Apollo's left eye twitches. I I don't think I got enough sleep last night. Oh, did we have a long rest? We did. Yeah. You all got a long rest. No quality of sleep isn't really covered in D and D mechanics. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> shall oh. we just kind of shall we just kind of looks at Apollo and says, "Got your back, always, and I will respect how far back that is." Thank you. Now, let us be on our way. Can we get back to politics, please? Kyrie starts walking like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Kyrene's walking fast because we're going to Kaslin's room. Yeah, for sure. You walk fast exactly four steps because Kaslin's room is right across the hall from y'all. <laughs> 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 Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie yeah. knocks. Okay, I was going to. Yep. <laughs> oh, I thought he meant if she was right there. <laughs> Kyrene, you knock. A couple seconds pass. No answer. Knock again. I don't think she heard you. Kyrie knocks, but like a little louder. Uh, You're like Cass? midway through the knock. 
before the door like swings open you see kaz in full pajamas like bird's nest hair like a literal bird's nest or crows like on her head uh yeah. and you're the crow shit 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 sorry 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 i'll be out in a second oh okay kind of like turns around <laughs> and like backs up like give them a little space the door slams need in your face I need a description of these pajamas <laughs> They're what just is... simple blue silk. I forgot to update my character my character sheet <laughs> for level four. It's okay. You can do that between things. Yes. We do have breaks now. You know, you guys sort of stand awkwardly outside of Kaslin's room for a few minutes before they come in. Still wearing pajamas, but with like an outdoor robe and some slippers. Are those um, crow slippers? Why wouldn't I have crow slippers? Crows are cool. Ah. On the fly. Is that a bird pun, Shaoku? Oh, you know what? No, but mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see Catherine just sigh. It really wasn't meant to be a pun. <laughs> Somewhere, Amar takes like damage for all puns in Hill Campus. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, follow me. I assume first thing on all of our minds is breakfast, so I can take to the dining halls. Absolutely. Yes. That sounds great. All right. Uh, follow me, and she will lead you just sort of throughout the halls, uh, across the sort of central courtyard. You can see there are still like remnants of the potluck going on people like haven't fully cleaned up yet because the exams aren't entirely over there's still a few like straggling students that have not completed the exam yet <clears throat> a lot less sort of illusory screens on the guys are with still a few of them so that's still going on as you pass apollo would like to look for oz on one of the screens you know mm -hmm. roll a perception check Shaoku's looking for bacon. Hmm. Roll a perception. No, I'm also check. looking for Oz. Let's get the right key. Good evening. What is it with Hillard's students that makes them hate so being good evening. in my <laughs> game? <laughs> That's a natural 20. Wow. Okay, Charlie. Like, write a book if you just want to succeed first. in everything. I, I wasn't joking about... <laughs> I wasn't joking about that. I gotta win. Oh, out the goodness. gate. Out the gate. <clears throat> so. Hello. That's my 20 for from last week that I didn't get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you instantly spot Oz. Uh, they are crammed inside what appears to be a sort of cavern wall that's like barely big enough for them to fit in. Uh, appearing to be hiding from a dire wolf. Uh, which is kind of like snapping at them from the outer end. Oh, they appear to be sort of like fiddling with what appears to be like a makeshift slingshot they made out of like some twigs and some vines. It appears and I will just... never get my hand axe back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what you see. Yep. Hmm. I'm sorry, who did he see doing that? That's Oz. 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 Oh. Oh, that guy. <laughs> no, they kind of lead you through the uh, the campus green, uh, across the Hillard Castle towards the dining halls. She starts speaking. Uh, so, yeah, the dining halls, there's three central dining halls. You can use any of them. It's just that three of them have their each own thing. Uh, there's the Hall of Hearth, which sort of has the ingredients for cooking if you want to make it yourself there's the hall of odyssey which kind of has a lot of pre-prepared foods from lots of different cultures around here and then the hall of destination which has a lot of really really oddly specific stuff so you can kind of put in orders to them and they'll if they can make it they'll try and make it the night before shall we immediately heads to the hall of odyssey oh. so who follows you guys enter the Hall of Odyssey, led by Kaslin, and it is a massive building full of tables upon tables upon tables of almost every kind of food you can imagine. 
there are a few sort of flags started flying high of different sort of cultures of food and things like that. But this is a massive, sprawling dining hall, and there are sort of seats off to the side where all men or students are eating. It is crazy early in the morning, so there's not a lot of people here. But yeah, the Hall of Odyssey definitely knows what the fuck is up. Charlie just kind of floats up and down all the different tables of food before finally grabbing a plate and picking like four or five of the things that looked really good and needed to be eaten immediately. Most and of the desserts another, are like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, oh, that's perfect. And then another five or six of things that look like they could maybe travel, like some empanadas and some pierogies and maybe a couple of dumplings. So definitely some cookies. Yeah, as we're sort of in like the pierogi dumpling section, sort of like calorie heavy sort of bread based stuff you notice that there's no garlic bread um on any of the tables the bowl where the garlic bread should be is just entirely missing i just look at the bowl and shake my head very sadly and move on to grabbing some of those wait are those patties and cocoa bread bet at least three of each <laughs> <laughs> And the rest of you. Are there any roasted, grilled, or uh, similarly prepared meats? There is an entire sort of row of variously prepared meats. Uh, absolutely, you can find grilled. Absolutely, you can find roasted. There's the stand, you know, cow, chicken, pig, that sort of thing. There's a few more exotic animals, like monsters, owl bear, things like that. Owl bear? No, absolutely not. Chaoku just does like a steak and eggs kind of thing. Easy enough. Kyrie, Apollo. Kyrie gets something with like potatoes and mushrooms and peppers with like a side of a fuck ton of fruit. <laughs> Easy enough. Some fruit juice, yeah. Apollo's All right, just... Kyrene, get the apple juice. Mm-hmm. Apollo is looking for rice, uh, eggs, and spam. Ooh. Easy enough to find. Yeah, he finds those things, and then if there is, if uh, he's just going to take a um, small little, a small little uh, container of rice wine, as well with that. Easy enough. Wait, we got liquor here? There is a shelf for alcohol, yes. Oh. Charlie goes back and scans the shelf and grabs a bottle of sake and a bottle of scotch and some lime juice. She just cool. happily shoves it in her bag with the patties and empanadas and pierogies. Chaoku makes a stein full of mimosa. (laughs) (laughs) Not mimosa. (laughs) Yeah. I said I'm going. I'm going Bronx at Bronx. Yeah, he had to do it. It's like seven a.m. in the morning. It's too early. Caslin's crow talking. (gasps) Oh my God! Is there coffee? There's absolutely coffee, yes. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> like, somehow, probably is balancing four different plates at the same time, along with the biggest goddamn mug of coffee you have ever seen. It's that high dexterity. It's what it was made for. Yeah. Oh, yes. Coffee. Kyrene grabs, like, two teacups and offers one to Kaz. Thank you. Oh. Mm, they won't take it. No problem. I like sipping tea. Uh, what do you usually get here? Um, I usually skip breakfast. I've got a lot of things to do. I feel that. You want to? Kathleen leads you quickly <laughs> to a table. Um, so I was looking, and it should happen in a few days from now, on like day three, I think, but there's an involvement fair for all the clubs to sort of recruit new freshmen in towards their thing. I took the liberty of sort of highlighting clubs that I think you guys might be interested in yourselves, if that's okay, if you wanted to hear those. 
Yes. Immediately thinking about like some type of acting club or drama club. Um, so this is just what I could glean from you guys on your things, but uh, Apollo, there's an archery club in campus. Thank if you. That's something you're yeah, interested I, in. I got I got invited to the archery varsity team, so mm -hmm. me and I would assume. And he just <laughs> trails off and doesn't keep going, and he's just staring. And she waits for like a solid thirty seconds for you to keep going before she realizes that you're not going to. And then there's also the band club, since you seem to enjoy playing the flute. Oh. Okay. Thank you. So that's that's something you might be interested in. Uh, Kyrene, you seem to like plants. It just kind of like looks at your hair. Um, and so they like, yes, definitely. There's a, <laughs> there's a selection of uh, plant-related clubs and herbalism clubs. There's the botany club. There's the cooler botany club slash fuck you, Janice. Then there's the coolest botany club slash two can play at that game. And then there's the hot botany club slash I intend to win. Okay, what? What's up uh, with those names? I love it. So what's up with those names? So just, you know, four different botany clubs. Um, you can take your pick. Are, what, what clubs are you in? I'm not in any clubs. I'm, I'm in the prefect club, but I have a lot to focus on with my studies, so. I feel that. Pretty okay. slick. Pretty slick. <laughs> Shaogu's comments, like, Kyrene hears them, but is, like, ignoring the fuck out of them. But internally, they're, like, dying. <laughs> like, stop. I'm mad. He's cheering you on. He's cheering you on. <laughs> Shaogu is a Best wingman. <laughs> Shawi isn't saying anything because she is very focused on eating her desserts before they melt. But every time Kyrene, every time Kyrene goes like super smooth, Shawi just kind of smirks and side eyes Kyrene and just keeps on eating. Kyrene cannot take the attention from them. They're like, stop. <laughs> and, I, and he's not, he's not, he's saying it so that only Kyrene can hear it. He's not like <laughs> killing a game, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Kyrene asks, so is it possible, I mean, like, I can join as many clubs as I want, right? Of course, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna join all three of those, and is there, There's like, four a of them. Oh, four, okay, yeah. I'm gonna join all of those. Is that might there be a like problem. A... I mean, but I gotta know, I mean, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Which one is superior and all that, right, Kyrene? Yeah. And that's what I had for you. Um, Chawi, there's a Tinkerer's Club. There's a Magitech Club. Sort of things like those. Ooh. Is there a Hide and Go Seek Club? I can investigate that for you. I, I wasn't looking into a Hide and Go Seek Club for you, but I, I can look into one. Excellent. I, I like to keep my sneaking skills up. Yeah, sure. What about for a Mr. Shaoku? Or did I miss that part? Uh, Shaoku, I admittedly, and she's kind of like looking through her collection. I don't know much about you. There is a combat of dueling club, if that's something that interests you. Um, hmm. There's also the botany clubs. You're, you're a druid, so you might like plants. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's a tragic about backstory that. support group. There's a what support group? A, a tragic backstory support group. <laughs> oh. Damn. Um, <laughs> well, I was hoping you could tell me something because I honestly don't know what qualifies me to be here, but, um, the combat, the combat dueling thing sounds interesting. However, um, you know what? I'm going to lean into the backstory group. Okay. So that'll be on day three, and we can cover all that on day three, but, you know, that's just sort of stuff here. All right. Is there some sort of club fair? What are we up to today? What's on the agenda? Uh, this is just getting you the map and showing you around the basic, you know, layout of the school. Okay. So what do you... Uh, they can't hear us. Oh... Okay, 
Okay, so while they can't hear us, I'm just going to say this. But uh, when Sha'aku goes for the backstory club, Chali just kind of side eyes him. She doesn't smile. It's a very serious studying side eye. backstory club that's funny <laughs> they said Sh- Shauku is going to therapy <laughs> oh, I'm tired of him <laughs> I you mean... gotta put the grass down son you gotta put the grass down <laughs> I'm tired of him oh my god Zinra's made shepherd's muffin pie with a cheesy meat center Yummy. Okay, Charlie is shoving like three of those into her backpack. And I think we're back. I think Apollo should go to therapy with uh, Shaoku. I mean, I think we all agree, but does Apollo think that? Apollo probably doesn't <laughs> let's be <laughs> real here he's too proud <laughs> let's be real. me as apollo's player knows man needs therapy apollo as himself nah therapy mm. i'm good i'm happy wow i don't have issues you have issues i'm happy Who damn it issues? so you all finish your breakfasts with varying conversations around and Kazlin continues the tour. They sort of show you around campus, the classrooms, the sort of teacher area where you can sort of go to office hours and things like that. Various dining halls. There are several dojos within the Adventuring Academy filled with various obstacles, courses, and training simulations and that sort of thing. Magical illusions that help you sharpen your skills. And... Takes note of that. Mm -hmm. Charlie's head is on a swivel watching, like, the talent of everyone who's in there currently. Everyone who's in there currently is exhibiting, probably for a lot of you, uh, except for maybe Apollo, the most talent you've seen in any of their sort of given fields. Hillary was absolutely a university full of incredibly exceptional individuals. Mm. Okay. Charlie shoots a side eye at the DM. Accepts it. <laughs> yeah, as she's sort of guiding you, Kazlyn hands you, the four of you each, a map of the campus. <gasps> oh boy. Do we have an actual map? Is that what's, is that what's happening? The map. Neo the is map. working on the map. In the meantime, I have taken the liberty of doing some fan art of the Hillard campus as as it were. So I shall take you over to that map. Let's go, hype. Let's Let's go. go. So welcome, welcome to Hill University. Uh, Um, Love it. Yeah, this is my fan art, don't steal. Um, Nice. I love the smiley face. The smiley face. Precious, I love it. I love it. Zoom out. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Is that a river or this, is that the path it's, we it's, gotta take? It's a it's a river. It's blue. I'm it's colorblind. I'm sorry. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> blue. Uh, or I was just gonna say like Apollo is colorblind. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love pretty, it. It's pretty damn cute. So anyway, back to the map that Kazlin gives you. Better than this one. Like, Hard to believe, I'm I know. But, uh, happy. Oh, cloud, cloud, cloud. <laughs> Brilliant. I consider myself an artist, so. You know, art is subjective. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And I'm subjecting you to it, whether you like it or not. So, <laughs> Kazlyn hands you this map, and you can see the edges of it, the sort of outer area of Hillard and some of the inner areas are sort of like shifting and changing almost like sort of Rorschach mask. Um, the university is very much a fluid dynamic place and nothing really stays the same. And Kazan explains that when you need to sort of find 
somewhere. You can simply ask the app to either show you there or take you there. And if you ask it to show you there, it sort of draws a line. And if you're asking it to take you there, then it'll sort of fold itself into an origami swan and sort of guide you towards the place that you need to go on campus. Chawi is staring at this map in sheer covetous awe. She looks at Kaslin and is like, how did you make this? I didn't make this. This is university property. Um, they have a lot of really, really competent wizards here. This actually used to be a magic school before it was an adventuring academy, so. So this map, it changes its form, correct? Yeah, depending on you know what's going on at Hillard, that's within, I guess, public viewing range. I see. So it's choosing. Okay. Thank you. So is there a, what's the current point of interest, point of interest on there? I don't know. Well, what are you interested in? Uh, right now we're here and she'll point towards like the dojo area. Uh, okay. There are classrooms sort of here on the main campus. There's dormitories here towards the side. Uh, there's the tower over here. That's a little ways sort of across the way from the dorms. Chawi mm. kind of taps the map lightly and looks up at Kaslin. Where are the libraries? Oh, great library. It is over here towards the, I believe, southern end of the map here, last I checked on campus. The library moves? Uh, depending on who needs it when. Uh, there's a few mm. College of Destination kids who have priority uh, since they need to do very specific research and, you know, yada, yada, yada. That's really fucking cool yeah it is well what do you what do you what do y'all want to do when do we get our class schedule uh we'll get that on the next day i'm just gonna show you around here real quick if that's all right hell yeah sure all right. Lead, lead all right. the is there an entertainment district like besides the food dining halls there's like the, shops and bars and... there's the arts campus um pillared is kind of its own demi plane so you'd have to kind of go mainland for that sort of stuff um there's alcohol on campus as and she'll kind of like look at the three of you you clearly discovered um three. if you're interested <laughs> what? don't fill me with these people as if you want to sort of get involved in the event planning, there's student government, there's the whole event side of that sort of thing. As well, if you want to like represent the student body and things like that, I guess. But uh, yeah, student government does, would be kind of place to go. Does student government have a financial committee? Uh, yeah, there's a treasurer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Where is uh, campus security? Campus security is, and she will flip through her notes, So the head of security is a individual by the name of Balance Pound King. Uh, they are a druid. They sort of ensure that the land itself acts as a large amount of the campus security. So she'll like point towards a few birds flying in the sky, a few squirrels that are like skittering up trees. Um, a lot of things are keeping this campus safe, including faculty and including staff. Okay. And I'm sorry, what was the head's name again? Uh, Valence Pound King. Okay, cool. Uh, does do does Hillard have a greenhouse at all? Uh, there should be one. Uh, greenhouse, and you see the map sort of like shift and change, and sort of towards the central courtyard where the campus green is, there is a sort of ping on the map. Cool. That might be where some of the botany clubs meet, though. So just be careful. Why do you keep saying what? Like, what's going on? Why do you keep saying be careful? <laughs> Well, there's a kind of like a low key like drama happening with the Botany Club right now. It's like a that's awful... what I'm saying. Like, what's the tea on it? That's what I was saying. I don't know the tea on it. They keep the Botany Club drama in the Botany Club, but everyone knows there's drama in the Botany Club. That's why I have to oh join all God. four. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to switch my uh my elective there. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't go seeking out drama. There's going to be plenty of time for that when you're adventurous. I have a question. 
I can answer. Um, I might have been distracted by some of the ladies walking around here, but did you mention some type of store or something earlier? Or did, was that tricky? Oh, yeah. So school store is going to be towards the front-ish entrance of campus. You can buy all sorts of adventuring gear, a few magic items. Uh, the ones that are made by students in classes are going to be a little bit cheaper than like the standard ones, but they also can be a little bit effective. Um, is there a limit on what's available on campus? Like, can you get anything or? There is a limit if you're a freshman on your first day, which you are. Um, they don't really want to give freshmen the power of like ninth level spells and like power word kills just because, you know, ethics. But yeah, you can probably get some basic gear. And then as you sort of build up credits and build up rapport in Hillard, you sort of unlock more leniency in terms of what they'll allow you to have on campus. It's a good thing we already have some extra credit. Yes, we do. <clears throat> and with that oh, said, yeah, because... Shaoku pulls out a, uh, <laughs> it's almost like, you remember the, you remember like the Christmas catalogs back in the day? And you would just mm -hmm. look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out like a ripped out page from some really old catalog. Oh and God. it's a, <laughs> And on it is like a picture and description of a viral converter. Is something like this available? What, what is that? I'm sorry, I'm not really well versed in magic items. It's not my field of study. Okay, fair enough. I'll ask when I go to the store. All right. But yeah, and so follow me this way. And as shall we, can... shall we glance this over at Kaslin one last time? So, Kaslin, if yeah. can. You know, if there are shops and so forth, I'm assuming that one must have money to buy things at these shops? Yes, you can earn money either through sort of on-campus channels, which obviously don't pay that much unless it's like higher end, or there is undergrad adventuring licenses that you can get, but that's later in the year. Is there a bank or anything so that if my family wanted to send me money, they could? They, there are sort of dormitory inboxes sort of thing so that people who want to send you gifts can send you gifts um bank is i don't know where the bank is i can ask for you if you want i was just curious about how the rate of exchange worked around here that's all yeah i will say and this isn't to sort of judge on your based on your class or anything like that but i did notice you are roguish and asking where a bank is does shoot up a few red flags i would strongly recommend against robbing anything here <laughs> I, I don't looks, think like, Shawi knows Chawi looks better. somewhat offended. Shawi looks somewhat offended. She's like, this is my first day in a strange place. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would I'm so never. Sorry. You don't I'm sound so sorry. so sorry. You, let's, come on. Like, let's be real. I think Chawi knows like, better. How, right, Chawi? Exactly. Chawi exactly. would how never. Cool it's fine. It's oh cool. God, I'm it's cool. Child I'll make sure she's cool. A I really, really appreciate that, Kyrie. Any trouble you cause is my ass. So just, you know, don't, don't, don't cause any. Um, thanks. The rude assumption at best. I'm <laughs> very, very sorry, but when you ask about like, hey, where's the bank on the first day? I kind of, I just worry like a little bit, just like, just a little, just a little. It's, I it's, I understandably here. alarms rang and I get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got snatched here with very little money. I hate to say this, but I grew up in a place where basically anything I wanted or needed could be provided to me because of the contributions that I made. I am just trying to make sure that I can continue to live in the lifestyle that I am used to with the support of my family. I'm sorry if those questions made you nervous, but if I can afford to buy it, I won't steal it. But if you can't afford to buy it, Charlie, are you suggesting that you would steal it? Um, Catherine says, I would Charlie just stealing. kind of side eyes. I would, I would recommend, I would recommend stealing from other students, and not the campus itself. There's, they're usually a lot less observant. Um, okay, so what, what I do usually is that I use usually just when I'm going on like adventures and things like, like off campus, things like that. Paulo's eyes kind of just widen as she literally <laughs> just suggested. Stealing from Kyrene's and he's just gonna, eyes. and he's gonna like hold his bow closer to himself. Tommy yeah, just kind of looks at her and is like, 
Chubby just has a total. Did you just say what I? Wow, face. And Chubby just nods and says, "I'm the problem, someone." Okay. Oh, I mean, if you're gonna go there, won't you nod us towards the part of the campus where the well-off students are? So, so what you're gonna? So, um, on a completely other topic, student government is actually run by a lot of these sort of upcoming nobility and royalty and things like that. People who, you know how at the beginning of the, um, the year, Kira Taylor, who's all like, oh, you know, some people be here by deeds, some people be here by, like, accomplishment, and other people be here by lineage, it's like, air quotes, lineage. Mm. So, a lot of those kids are going to be in student government because they're, you know, training themselves to, uh, to rule. Um, gotcha. And gotcha. so they're they're very 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 well off, and um, they don't really miss a lot of small things that go missing that aren't small to other people. Heard you. Thanks for the tip. Good question. Mm-hmm. Is there something mm-hmm. like BS about the lineage here? How do you mean? Well, you use quotations, so it's like lineage is. It's a. It's kind of hard. I mean, it's it's what it sounds like, you know, lineage is you're here because your ancestor or your parent or your brother or your your aunt or uncle either paid for getting here or was exceptional. And so by extension, you must also be exceptional. It's kind of, I find it kind of weird. It's, it, it sits weird with me, but, you know. So it's like typical, mostly they shouldn't be here. No, I don't, I don't think that's it. I think that there are people who are here uh, by association that very much... Are exceptional and then there are those who aren't but are still here anyway gotcha so what else do we uh, see as as kaslin finished saying this shall we like and i will roll a self if need be kind of shifts her eyes to see what apollo's reaction to this little speech is I would say that's more of an insight check. Uh, uh, insight, insight, insight. I will roll insight, sure. With a 19, Apollo, feel free to say anything you have about your reaction. Apollo's face betrays no emotion. Hard to read. I'm not really sure what he's thinking. Having met Apollo for the last 36 hours, that actually says more than he can think of. But shall we just, you know, act like she ain't look at him and keep on, keep on keeping on. So then this way, um, the tour continues. And we are going to fast forward a bit throughout the majority of orientation week lots of very fun and very interesting things happen to orient the students that we can role play if anyone ever misses a session and that needs some downtime and some fun times and some yes. campfire time yes. oh, okay. Love it. as you guys are kind of getting your schedules and things like that sort of finding syllabuses and learning your way around the campus more and more freshmen complete the first examination until like by day four it's it's just Oz. He's the only screen left oh in the guy. God. Um, God damn it! Oz. I mean, he's still alive, though. He's, he's like, still alive. He's there he's doesn't. Still alive. You either get back doesn't... here, yeah, or I, I will come out there and get you myself. Yeah, do we need to go save this jackass? Look, he's been out there for four days by Jeez. himself. I, I want to go get him so badly. Same. He should have fucking came with us. He should have. There doesn't appear to be like a time limit on the exam. It's when students like choose to to give up, and Oz has not yet. He's still like dot damaging this dire wolf with like pebbles that he throws. Like, it's the same dire wolf. It's the oh same dire wolf. You you hear like stories of students being like Oz and his dire wolf stare each other down until one of them falls asleep, <laughs> and then the other attacks. <gasps> oh, hey, uh, does he still have my axe? I think he might. You see him like. <laughs> you see like, through the the sort of squeezed out cavern uh, that he's in. There's like a half thrown axe that's like by the feet of the direwolf that he like 
can't seem to get to because it's like out in the open where the direwolf fucking is. I, I fucking the, I support him. I see that the axe has like my initials on it and it's like all silvery and damn. Hey, um, Charlie, does your you have the message message thing, right? You can do how far does that reach? No, I don't have message anymore. Oh, okay. And I think the oh. spell you're thinking of is sending. Okay. Yeah, because I think message only goes to like 120 feet, and the person you need to be seeing them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. Is Kazlin with us right now? Yeah, Kazlin's been like showing you around and stuff like that. Hey, uh, um, where are we headed? This is us for the general report. This is like a synopsis of yeah. the orientation week of mm. on campus. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Kazlin oh. about Oz. Yeah, like, I wanted to ask too. Kind of, kind of glance up at the strings and be like, "You've been here for almost four days now, and there's still a student fighting alone in the forest. What? What's what's that about? And mind you, Charlie is still. Admin is not a hundred percent on site anymore. But Shawi still has an urge to throw hands at admin, so she's really excited about this answer. Because, yeah. I mean, he's free to fail the exam whenever he gives up. Um, he just kind of hasn't yet. I haven't really seen this happen before. And she kind of like stares at the screen. Is it possible that we could go out and retrieve him? I mean... He might fail the exam if you kind of help him. You are technically students now, so outside assistance is forbidden. Okay. And I, I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, can I, like, hold up a finger to the others? And uh, I mean, not to the others. Mm -hmm. um, to Kaslin, yeah, and totally. then you group up with the others? Guys. I'm know? going to go on a really loud and far away rant about this fountain. Kaslin takes away. <laughs> I'm going to ask the eye to see if they can save Oz. Do it. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to help. But I do not. I really want my axe. I mean, I really want Oz to succeed <laughs> here. Um, A politic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie, oh, like, touched Polly. their eyes at Apollo. But it's like, okay, look, just... <laughs> We'll get your axe back, but he's more important than that. We can agree. Y yes. He's, well, that's he's debatable. Very, he's very but... important. He, he, he could be an asset. He is a wizard, after all. We could <clears throat> ask him for spells and help with the arcane. And then... Um, um, fair uh, point. Charlie just kind of looks at Apollo. She, like, looks at him hard and says, How willing would you be to help someone pulled you out of a battle you weren't done with. Well, it depends on the circumstances, doesn't it? Am I tired? Are they tired? How hurt am I? How hurt are they? Oh no, we're not doing this. Let's come on. Get where's the eye? <laughs> it's <clears throat> Apollo's carrying it on him at all times. It's in his little bag of holding. And Ooh. and Chalmy's just like I'm and not against He's it. not gonna I'm do it saying. outside. He's gonna go to the bathroom. Cause that's his oh thing. <laughs> go to Let's the go to our room. <laughs> Let's go to our room. <laughs> we have the magical maps. We have the magical maps. They can probably like take us back to our dorms in a hot second. Aren't we still Ooh. doing the orientation with Kazlin? I feel like she'd know something is up if all of us suddenly decide, hey, let's go back to our rooms. And so this guy was founded when the university was founded, when the university was founded almost 2,000 years ago. Going before you do that, I, I think Kazlin already knows that something is up. <laughs> I mean, before you before you do that, do you do you do you think Kazlin would know what it is? Well, not necessarily not, not necessarily where it came from, but oh, just no. what it what it is. Should we have somebody look at this thing first to say what you yeah, it? I... Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I think if that we allow any of the faculty or staff to look at it, they're going to take it from us. Well, 
Actually, that's... about that. And then Kyrene tells them uh, a bit about the conversation they had with their brother, Fern. Um, nice. How Fern, you know, is going to do research on the class that they clocked on the back of the owl a cage door um, and to try to figure out what it was that possessed the owl but it would really help Fern if we had something from that thing uh, so then they, they wrap it up and say so I'm all for letting Caslin like look at it in our dorms where you know it's private uh, but if I'm I, I promise my sibling will give it back I don't see him keeping it what are you prepared to do if he doesn't want to give it back or he doesn't want to keep it quiet why can't we just give him a minor illusion of it I mean so oh. he needs it to try to locate whatever it is that took over the owl is this oh my god which I think is a good yeah. thing I don't think that's something that should just be roaming out free Especially with the wards down. Exactly. Wait, it's what? I, hey, Kyrie oh, looks at Shahoku. Yeah. Wait, what? Apollo you looks at him what like. What did he say? Like, Nani? Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all didn't, didn't hear that? Y'all didn't hear that? Oh. No. Um, no. This is the okay, first so, time I've heard of this. So get this. <laughs> um, Apparently. Apollo looks over his shoulder to make sure that Kaslin's not listening. <laughs> Apparently one of the teams cheated and used the invite scroll to teleport back into school, like, illegally. And to pull that off, somebody in their group or somebody they knew had to wish the uh, wards down so as far as i know at least as of yesterday all the wards are down in the school and apparently anybody can teleport here willy-nilly not sure what that means good or bad but i don't like it we didn't know that this affected the wards we knew that somebody teleported in this could really spell disaster here at hilly well that's the question How um Considering the anomalies we came across, um, who's making them? Who who did the eyes belong to? How are they controlling? Who's controlling? Is it a plot, a scheme to get in here? Is it who was that class from four years, hundred years ago? The um, as Shaoku is saying this, the words of. Uh, I forget if it was the maestro, but the words Sakaris Hiller didn't make everything just kind of echoes in Apollo's mind. Kyrene. Well, I, say all, I say all that to say, yeah, let's, let's hold off on using the eyes just yet. Let's try to at least find out what it's capable of. That's just my suggestion. We can decide. Ch I was going Ch to... Oh, go ahead, Charlie. Chari looks at Kyrene and Apollo, and she asks Kyrene, how much of a sample would your brother need? Hmm. I imagine a small one would do, but Kyrene really isn't sure. But, uh, you know, so they say that. Say, I, I think a small one would do, but honestly, I'm not sure. Charlie looks at Apollo. Would taking a small pinch of the eyeball cause it much harm, do you think? It's an eyeball. Yes. <laughs> oh, I mean, How there's no feel bleeding. Someone... Could... could we just Wait. cast it and then cure it? Wait. I mean, do that and cure it? We could have it Ooh, cry. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? Um, Apollo, you mentioned minor illusion. If we can do that, let's um, show the minor illusion first, see their reaction. If they seem like they're okay, then maybe if they insist on needing the actual thing, we can then present it. 
I suppose that could work, but if they ask for it, I'm going to have to give it to them. I can't disobey faculty. Mm. Eventually. I don't think, like, I legit don't think that we want faculty know to know that we have the whole thing. Fuck, I wish I had picked up some of those goddamn eggshells, but we got carried I mean, off by the aisle too fast. Yeah. And, mm. uh, but, you know, Kyrene says, I mean, it's it's Fern. They're, they're thinking of Fern and who Fern is, and they're like, yeah, Fern is a tight ass, but I don't think he'd be, like, a dick about it. Uh, but... Fern stamp out the blunt. Okay, the but that's because <laughs> we're not supposed to be smoking on campus. Like, I get it. <laughs> it that was never shitty. Heard that rule. I never yeah, heard that rule. Nobody said that. that <laughs> Can we just casually do drugs on campus, Dean? You? <laughs> you haven't asked. Castlin is like, yeah. right. Look, I'm going to ask forgiveness instead of permission. Oh, yeah. Castlin, uh, I mean, Kyrene goes up to Castlin and kind of just. Taps oh them on the shoulder. Hi, Ray. Oh, yeah. Would you like to hear more about this geyser? N no. Yeah. Yeah, but she will. it was wonderful hear hearing about it. Um, I was just wondering what is the policy on drugs that Hillard? Um, don't get caught. Oh. To be Heard. fair, marijuana is not a drug. It's recreational, <clears throat> and it's after all. I mean, I wouldn't know. I would <clears throat> smoke it, but. Soapbox. Another soapbox. Oh, this is K. Soapbox. <laughs> yep, let's do this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kyrene looks at Kaz and is like, um, so we kind of have something that we need to take care of. Is it cool if we continue this at a different time? Yeah, sure. I'll go take a nap. Okay, cool. Um, and then... <laughs> Kyrene, uh, pulls, like, a seed out of their pocket, and then they cast Druidcraft to make the flower bloom. And it's like a little small tulip, and then they give it to Kaz, and they're like, okay, cool, have a good nap. Um, here you they go. Can, like, take it, and you see them turn, like, again, like, deep into go, okay, thanks, bye, and they walk away. Hey, one more question. Oh my god! He's so like waving. So Bye. this is the drama in <laughs> in the flower club. <laughs> so it starts. So it begins. Shall we just flat out snickers like it is an audible snicker? Flowers start oh to bloom god. in Kyrene's hair, like the like their flower crown becomes like even more, just bigger. More flowers start appearing. They're like, okay, cool. So, what are we doing, y'all? What? Careful. Don't want to uh -huh. attract any bees. Uh, Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. We need the bees, know. actually. So. I don't know. I think Kyrie might be very interested in being pollinated right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Kyrie... that? No, we're going to go on our 10 minute break. Um, the party can discuss what they want to do after that. <laughs> Oh my god. But I'm gonna go stop for a couple minutes. I'll see you later. Okay. Hilarious. <sighs> Here, have this intermission screen. Oh my god. All right, so the party discussed a bit more, and they have fallen on another option of giving Fern the corpse of the captive student that they retrieved. Are we really doing this? We're going to. I think that I think that if we explain to Fern how we ended up with the corpse, it would work. We can just stop the explanation before we also talk about how we got the eyes. Can yeah. I roll something to see how I think Fern <laughs> would react to uh, Roll me the... an insight check with advantage to see how your brother would react oh. to you giving him a dead body to identify and investigate. Well, because oh, the, the, the... Oh, Considering the fact that 
it was an anomaly. It shouldn't have been there to begin with. They should want to know is was the student an actual student? Was it a construct of whoever else is making stuff beside the dean? True. It is with a 15, Kyrene. Uh, Fern has your back no matter what. Uh, if you told him to keep it secret, he'd probably keep it secret. Um, yeah. I mean, he's your brother, so. Kyrene thinks that, and they kind of stand on it a bit more, and they're like, fuck it. All right, let's let's do this. I, I, am, could you, I am hoping he does not tell my mom. Uh, could you summon or, him? I can go find him. Can I like take out the map and look at it and say, uh, Professor Fern? You absolutely yes. can. Uh, so there's just a sort of leader towards the sort of central uh, teacher headquarters with their office hours and things like that. And there's a path. Right. Kyrene flashes the map and are like, all right, let's go. All right, you guys make your way across the green, across the campus towards the office of Professor Fern. It is open. You can see your brother, Kyrene, uh, tall, robed, hair kind of locked to one side and one half sort of shaven on the side. Uh, he is not wearing his glasses and you can see he's kind of like leaned down and sort of hunched over paper, looking at it very closely and writing something very intricate. Kyrene looks to the group and they're like, okay, so give me a second, let me you know, let, let me let me set it up and then I'm gonna like call y'all in, okay? All right. Oh, 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 okay. oh. Uh, Kyrene like knocks on the door, like on the doorway and like the door frame and walks in and shuts the door behind them. You see from kind of look up and I uh, sort of reach across their desk and put his glasses on. Uh, hi, Kyrene. Um, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, I've been looking into that classroom that you told me about. Uh, give me a, a second, and you can see he's, like, sifting through his papers, and he pulls out a sort of, like, half-ripped piece of parchment. What exactly did you want to know about Classroom 12117? Uh, if there's, like, a chair in front of his desk, Kyrene takes it and scoots up to the desk, and they're like, I, I mean, honestly, everything. What were they... What was the subject? What were they studying? Who was well, in the class? Uh, everything might be a bit of a problem. The clearance that you need to look up information about class 12117 is kind of above my pay grade. I managed to find out a few more things. Um, two things. Uh, he kind of looks around. Are you okay? Um... Kyrene reaches across the desk to hold their brother's hand and they're like, I'm okay. Uh, but I did come to know, to ask you about the class and to sh show you something, but I'm worried about dragging you into something that would put you into some shit. Well, I'm worried about you getting into some shit on your own, so... I think that trumps yours. Touche. I, I think it does too. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me what you found out about the class though? The class 12117 is an advanced course. Advanced amalgamation and it was taught up until 400 years ago by one Dr. Sakiris Hillard. Sorry, you said what were they? Advanced what? Advanced amalgamation. Mm. Chimera making. Oh, shit. Okay. And who was it run by? Dr. Sakiris Hillard, the assistant dean of Hillard University. Whoa. Okay. And I mean, what were they... Why can't you? It's crazy that you can't find that this information is above your pay grade. What the hell were they getting into? I don't know. Apparently, it's under a 
security risk for it to be common knowledge, whatever that means. You'd have to ask either head of security down Paladin or I guess secures himself or finds some other means. What else did you come here to talk to me about? Um, so first I'd love for you to be my friends and they like rush to the door, open it and they're like, come on, let's come on, come in, come in. They hold the door open for everybody. I've, I've already met them. I watched them collectively save your life. I'm, I'm pretty endeared already. What up, Byron? Uh, Shalu, yes, friend. You see him like sift through his desk. I confiscated this from a student. Kyrene told me that this should probably make up for our misunderstanding. And, like tosses you a bag of herbs. Oh my god. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. As they walk in, <laughs> Apollo immediately closes the door behind them. <laughs> Uh, Shalko sniffs it. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> uh, Kyrene sits down again and is like, alright, so I told you about, you know, the mall and things of that nature and how it had that cage, right? Well, when we first uh, when we first found it, a girl was stuck in there. And we later found out she was somehow, like, attached to the owl. Uh, and we have her body. For nods. Uh, so, yeah, Apollo. <laughs> and, like, Blah. They, they motion for it, like, towards the floor. This is the Kevin sound kind of Apollo looks... makes as the ring clatters to the floor in the place he stood. And then two seconds later, uh, he reappears holding the body. Uh, DM, does the body, the, has the body decayed or anything like that? I know it's been yeah. like a couple days. It, it's got to smell at least. The body shows He's no letting signs me in of decay. Stasis. It shows no uh, signs of decay? Stasis. It shows zero signs of decay, and as you're holding it, you can feel it's sort of like almost pulsating slightly. Oh, thank God. She's alive? Pulsating? Like a, like, uh, is it... Kyrene, like, puts their ear over the, their, the person's chest to try it's to hear something. Pulsating, but it doesn't appear to be originating from the heart. It seems to just be across the entire body in a uniform, this sort of this is not human. You jump scare. Kyrene looks at her. I go on the other side of the room. Apollo puts like, the oh, body oh, down oh. between him, the desk, and <laughs> Fern. <laughs> I believe this is yours. Fern will not. Can you tell if this is a student? Like, uh, yeah. Fern is pretty stoic as it just sort of seems to not like stand up but almost just seems to sort of almost float up from his desk and very calmly just brush everything all the paperwork all the sort of ink wells just off and onto the floor and sort of sets this student down on the desk Karen's like watching Fern like oh shit like what are you gonna do and it like goes to stand by their side uh does this student look familiar, or...? Uh, you see Fern start to go through the student's pockets. Mm-hmm. Shady about to do a full-on autopsy right now? <laughs> I should not have to say that this doesn't leave this room, right? Of, of course. I, I couldn't take it with me if I wanted to. Good. I appreciate that. You I... see... Fern, pull out what appears to be a student ID. This was given to you on, like, day two-ish of your orientation. And he opens it, inspects it. Micaiah Shorespark. She was a student here. 
over 400 years ago. Not by much. Oh. So, wait. She was a student here 400 years ago? Do we have a list of the students who were in that class? I couldn't get one, no. Um, Remember, it's okay. always pay grade, right? He also I mean, pulls out what appears to be a dorm a... key. Yes! 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 He pulled yes. out a, a what? A dorm key. Dorm key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kyrene immediately snatches it and is in is inspecting it. Uh, it is incredibly old-fashioned. Where is they the pocket oldest it. part of the student dorms? Uh, wherever you need to be, the student dorms are kind of known for being organic. Um, they shift and change as per the needs of the students. So, mm. how we kind of blushes and looks down after Kyron finishes speaking. Apollo's gonna reach down <laughs> and grab. <laughs> a single piece of hair from the student and put it in his bag of or well wrap it up and in a handkerchief and then put it in a, his bag of holding is there a uh, maintenance crew that might have a locksmith on duty that could prob probably tell us shall we kind of look we have a shall we just kind of shoots her eye at Shaaku and is like why the fuck are you trying to get Edmund involved what Mm. My, my fault. My I'm trying to get all official and shit. No. Fern. Or, sorry, sir. What are you going to do with this? Who are you going to report this to? As of right now, no one. Should I report it to someone? No, you shouldn't. Probably Kyrie not. Kyrie and, like, elbows Apollo. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is any kind of gestures for the student dead, but if it is, I am capable of communing with them if you have any questions that you'd want to ask. Otherwise, I will ask them myself and get back to you. Can you ask her, uh, them what happened? Why or how did they end up in there? Are they a part of this class? I mean, could I, is there a way I could do this with you? I can, you can ask me questions and I can relay them to the corpse. Cool, okay. Oh. Is that what we're doing? Let's do it. Wait, right now? There's no better time than the present. Not well. If there's any room for extra questions, Shaoku will want to know... Did this person die 400 years ago and it's just like animated somehow to stay alive or no i'm quite sure we just killed them uh. Uh -uh. wait <laughs> you see fern kind of roll up his sleeves and there are these intricate sort of tattoos on his palm and fingers these circles of dot formation that almost appear to be uh planetary diagrams and as he places a thumb on the student Micaiah's forehead he begins to mutter an incantation Karina's he... watching like oh shit I bro look kind of dope right now <laughs> he's looking cool you see his robes begin to float and then his locks, and there is a bright, verdant green light that fills the room. It is not Kyrie's sort of warm, vibrant green. It is almost sickly and diseased, like ivy that curls around a tree to suck out its life. You see this ivy begin to sprout as Fern lifts his thumb and coil around the student and then wrench it upwards. Right, what questions do you need to ask? And as Fern looks up at you, uh, his eyes are sort of glowing this bright green. Kyrene is like 
mouth on the fucking floor. They are so surprised to see uh, Fern in such a light. Um, so they stutter for a second. They're like, uh, uh, Hurry. fuck. Uh, it, were you, was she in class 12117? Were you in class? And you can see his voice has this almost sort of like reverb echo to it that seems to reach the air before it actually leaves his mouth. And you see the vine sort of shift and twist and curl and the body sort of moves and answers. Yes. What happened to you? One of us took the class too far. They amalgamated mm. everything. Are there others like you who are still around today? Yes. So many. Are you in the forest? No. No, we escaped. Who in the class took it too far? We don't know. We can't tell where we begin and they all end. Where, where are the others? And at that fifth question, the ivies wilt and wither and die. <gasps> and the body drops to the ground. Well done, Fern. <sighs> All the same. Well fucking done, Fern. Oh, and... Mary's Holy shit. Ad. Wow, that was excellent timing, Ed. A very good timing, Ed. Wow. Wow. I you know really what? Wish. I don't get that. Really... You don't get what? I don't get ads when I'm watching Shadows. And I think it's because I have a, a, a plug-in that blocks ads, like on YouTube and stuff for me. Nice. Oh, what, what plugin is this? What if, plugin is this? Seven. I will pop that in chat for y'all. Let me just start yeah. gifting people subs real quick. Uh... <laughs> oh. What was the answer to the last question? Um, They don't know. They don't know where they end and begin, I believe. Right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, so long those lines. So to reiterate, are done. It was asked which student is the one who took things too far, and Micaiah answered, "We don't know. We don't know where we end and the others begin." The others. They and then the ivies wilted, reduced to ash, and then to nothing, and then their bodies sort of thudded back against the desk. Fern's eyes lose their glow. The room loses its eerie green. Kareen uh, grabs Fern's hand and they're like, you good? I'll be fine. I won't be able to ask any more questions until 10 days have passed, so. Ish. Yeah, so. I can't, how are you going to, how are you going to keep the body stable for 10 days? Doesn't seem to be rotting. I mean, I, yeah. I Chawi kind of shoots her eyes at Apple, and it was like, well, that might be because of where it came from. I would. I have ways of keeping a body from rotting. I bet you do have ways. <clears throat> Chawi just kind of, you know, glances away and is like, okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Look. Irene is looking at Chawi like, mm. and then <laughs> <laughs> they look back at Fern, uh, and they're like, "Thank you for, thank you for doing that. Um, I appreciate it, and I appreciate being too trusty with this." Of course. We good looking out, Fern. They hug Fern. They 
don't for a second and then just sort of like slowly hug you back. They let go because now it's awkward. All right. So um, I will come. I will hit you up. Yes. And maybe we can ask more questions in a few days. Yeah. Be careful and uh, try not to get into too much trouble. Ah. You too. Got some shit going on with you. <laughs> Kyrene, like, noting the IV. They're like, that's their thing. Like, that's the complete opposite of what I do. That's He does not break eye contact with you and just stares you down. <laughs> Kyrene's getting uncomfortable. All right, I'm going to go now. <laughs> and they, like, start to walk out. Right. I guess we all just kind of slowly shuffle and follow Kyrene. Yeah. You exit Fern's office. So about this key. I said just take the key into the tower. We know that this campus is magical. So the tower might just react to the key. I was honestly thinking going back to our dorms and before we're like walking in, we have, or we could even be in the dorms and we pull out this key and try to see if something happens absolutely i'm down with that let's but what what is the tower though actually like dm do we know what exactly the tower is is it like a magician is up in there or what chasm would have explained to you it's sort of just like luxury dorms that sort uh of thing. student government and shit that sort of thing yeah okay and there's there's so, no there's no like technically older part of the campus where like older so. dorms are or... I mean all of the campus is old but it reforms so frequently that it's kind of isn't that kind of boat of Theseus-esque mm -hmm. isn't that so kind of our... ironic though that our the possible key to unraveling this uh, mystery is called the tower the tower is commonly interpreted as a meaning of danger and crisis, destruction and liberation. It's associated with sudden and unforeseen change. It's a tarot card. Yeah, let's unlock that. That sounds fun. That does. Mm -hmm. So what y'all want to do? We want to go to the room or we want to go to the tower? Okay, so this is the question. Our student dorms aren't part of the tower, so where are our student dorms? Student dorms are in this sort of like wing of the castle that's like beside the tower. The towers are like separate from the regular student dorms. But mm. they're all still connected? The tower's like a little ways off, but they're like in the same area. Okay. okay. So, so they are not like connected. Like the student dorms don't have a nice little tunnel connecting them to the tower. Not that it is openly visible to you, no. Cool. Are any of the libraries in the tower? You're not sure. Well, how many, how many like feet or yards would you say the tower is from the dorm? Maybe like 200 feet. Okay. Can I, um, Kyrene pulls out their map and they say class 2 117. Ooh. That's so smart. I wish I had a thought of it. <laughs> the red line begins to guide you back towards the classrooms and appears to stop at what should be a dead end in the hallway. Kyrene is vibrating. I was about to say, not to, get, not to get in your business, but that's inspiration right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at my niggas looking out for me, period. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Man, uh, thank you, DM. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. So Kyrene is Ow. vibrating, and they, they flashed a map to them, and they kind of huddle up to with everybody. They're like, look. We're onto some shit, and I want to know how far this goes. 
let's go investigate what what say you we can do this or we can do the tower which like i'm down with, with whichever we do first they do call us the team map, the, map already. Is, the map is guiding us the map Look. is guiding and we could probably play no. that off for now like people are going to see us go to the tower but if we're just going through the hall yeah we can kind of play that off a little more so let's, let's follow the map if y'all want to do this, sneaky. It, if, if, if we ready to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if this is the squad, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to take it to the streets with anybody here. So if y'all saying this is it, let's do it. Kyrene. We, we squad. We squad. Chavi is like, you know, Chavi's much shorter than Chaku, but she's like jumping up and down like, we squad. <laughs> I think Shaoku and Kyrene would, would uh, honestly be the same height, but Kyrene like just takes in everybody and like the encouragement and they, they're they really content with it and they're like, let's go. Hey, wait, Kyrene, Let's do it. Do you yeah? by any chance happen to have Bugsy with you? I pull out Bugsy and I'm like, Bugsy, you want to go adventuring? Bugsy nods. <laughs> like, I show Apollo Bugsy. <laughs> And Apollo is going to take a very, very deep breath. Listen here, you little... I mean, Bugsy, can you be a friend? Mm -hmm. And Bugsy nods. make sure that if we are walking into any trouble, you start squeaking very loudly. Bugsy nods. Thank you, Bugsy. Okay. <laughs> Shaoku pretty much does the same thing with Ember to tell it to... Keep his eyes and ears open. And keep Ember is very clearly and openly keeping his eyes and ears open at the mouse in Kyrene's hand. Kyrene covers Bugsy, Bugsy and they're of... like, no. <laughs> they hiss. Easy. <laughs> Easy there. He, Bug, Bugsy is with us. Bugsy is not lunch. Bugsy is... Just the cat ridiculous. gives you the look that cats give you when they don't approve of what you're saying, but they're like, all right. I'll snap <laughs> you out of here. I'll snap you out of here. <laughs> if he meows at you. <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you don't you don't want to go to the pocket dimension so just calm down it's yeah, okay again you're you're a fae <laughs> anyway you don't want material mice <laughs> you Relax. literally sound like me arguing with my cat material mice <laughs> <laughs> chawi looks between ember and bugsy and is like we are not going to reproduce the tragedy of tom and jerry that's not, not what's happening here I can not today you. Not. So Tom and Jerry is canon now. Canon, absolutely. Canon. <laughs> so it is Always has been. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> just canon from jump. Okay, so we just look. I mean, come on, we just got Where's Ember and Bugsy. Going? It had to We're be gonna canon. Go. We're gonna try to go through this wall. See right. You guys yeah, we walk are. through the halls. Okay, there, there are a few students out and about sort of on tours having picnics in the, the campus green exploring the dojos that sort of thing they are for the most part oblivious to a lot of you as you make your way past them through a long hallway of classrooms and towards a darker corner of what appears to be just a solid stone wall tap the key against the wall oh, no, just yeah. feel Tap the dorm key against the wall. Nothing happens. All right, hold on. Can can we, the four of us, split up and check the wall to see if there are like any holes that the key might fit into? Yeah, can I, can we like investigate the wall? Yeah. Or see if anything magic is going on with it? Yeah, roll me either investigation or arcana. 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 Ooh. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, they're the same. Oh, my gosh. It was so close to landing on 20. I hate it here. I was investigating <laughs> for any, like, secret. Is it, was the wall, is the wall made of stone or something? Or is it, like, could stone? Be... Yeah. So you'll look for any, like, secret stones or loose stones that might be some type of lever or something to open a passageway or something. Yeah, 
Um, Shaoku, with a 15 investigation, you inspect this wall pretty thoroughly, in fact. Yeah. And there is no sort of mechanical mechanism or loose stones or cobble buttons, essentially, or stone brick buttons to sort of push in and reveal a hidden thing in the wall. What you do see is where dust has collected sort of at the end of this hallway, since not a lot of people kind of go towards dead ends. There mm-hmm. is visible foot traffic. Mm-hmm. Appears to be roughly humanoid shaped. Um, like disappearing into the wall? Walking into the wall, yeah. There is absolutely magic afoot here for those of you who rolled an Arcana check. That isn't a five. Sorry, Kyrene. Um, <laughs> there's magic afoot the here, wall. but you don't think that the dorm key is connected to this particular wall, Apollo. Gotcha. Got it. Hmm. Well, it would make sense that the dorm key doesn't work when finding the classroom. It is a dorm key, after all. Hmm. Fair point. Fair point. Maybe we need a different oh, key. Oh, shit. Maybe we need to go back to the dorm. Yeah, maybe we could find something in the rooms. Because in the dorm, we might find a classroom key. I feel like that might be a very broad search. We can't just be like, map, find me the dorm to this key. And he says this out loud to to the map. But this... Oh, shit. Does the map do anything? creates a line that sort of leads towards the dorms. Uh, I roll out. Nice. <laughs> I nice. <laughs> <laughs> Paulo is salty. Paulo is still sleepy too because yeah. It's been a couple days since that. It should be. It should be fun. Well. <clears throat> Heading towards the dorm? Let's do it. Go and see the dorm. You guys make your way all towards the campus. It again leads you to a blank wall, although you have been here enough days to know that this sort of dorm area is known for being more organic and more sort of rapidly shifting and it is typical that if you need your dorm to be somewhere in the dorm hall, you can simply just sort of assert your key towards the stone and the dorm will appear. Or you can will your dorm door to sort of be there. It's, it's very convenient for students. Out of game, that, that would have been very useful to know when we got a dorm key rather than finding it out now. Out of game. Noted. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. So we're so we we're at the dorms, right? You are at the mm-hmm. dorms, yes. Kyrene pulls out. Uh, I think they stand in front of the like the the group's dorm room, like with the door closed, and they pull out the uh, key that they found. The door almost seems to ripple like a reflection of water and shift and change and. You see it change entirely. The wood is much older, darker, dustier, and it appears to be an entirely separate door that has replaced your door. Kyrene uses the key. It clicks satisfactorily, and then the door creaks open, and you see what appears to be a room not unlike the very sort of basic common room that Kazlin spawned for you when you first arrived here, just simple furniture and luggage and a single door leading sort of deeper inward. They they step in, they look back at the group and then they look towards the room and they go inside to further investigate. Do they in do they vanish into invisibility like we did when we went into the gates of Hillard? No. It appears to be a dorm room. You can see them from the hallway. 
All right. Well, in that case, Chowie just promptly, without pause, walks in behind Kyrie. You both enter this sort of dormitory common room. Can I get a vibe check from the room? Roll me insight for vibe check. Vibe check, Apollo. It's dusty. Hasn't been used in a while. And there's, I mean, it's it's a creepy old room. So. Okay, I just wanted to like. There's like no mice or any type of. There's like no indication that anything has been in there for a long time. That would be the case. Yes. Okay, Apollo. And it's steps into the room. And it's it's like lit or is it dark or. Uh, seems to be completely dark, although with your dark vision, everything is kind of in grayscale. Okay, now Shadow Ghoul walks in. We all have dark vision, right? You all indeed mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I have night vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. And see? What do we see? So, you said there was like a room no, further my... back, right? Yep, a room further back. Is that the only door we see? It appears to be. Okay. Yeah. Like third... They make their way. Check okay, so shall, we do, shall we do an Arcana check to see if there's some other magical shit hidden in this room? Go for it. Check for traps, too. Is that different? That's investigation instead of Arcana, isn't it? Can I roll investigation as well? Uh, you can if you so ten arcana. All the rooms in Hillard are magical, so you can't really see anything specific. Uh, there's conjuration magic, obviously, since it's a pocket realm, um, so nothing really stands out to you. You can roll and look for traps too. That'd be investigation. Oh, nice! Yes, goddamn! Yes. Damn! Mm -hmm. and that okay. wasn't even a natural so, twenty. That really was nineteen. <sighs> <sighs> The How room is barren. The rogue. No traps, no signs of life in the common room. You do, he you do hear slight shuffling coming from behind the door. It sounds like cardboard. Like somebody moving cardboard, or. I'm just so like cardboard, cardboard moving. Ah. Oh. Mm. I, you know, one of the things that can move cardboard is mice, and I really do not have the space or energy to deal with mice again. You better say no offense to Bugsy. We can make friends with the mice. Like, come on. Look, I'm still side eyeing Bugsy because at a critical point. He looked at us, looked at the mice, looked at us, looked at the mice, and was like, fuck both y'all, and went into the bag. So. True. Side eye and Bugsy. Bugsy, you're an angel. Don't listen to her. <laughs> well, we're not going to get answers standing around here. And Apollo is going to go towards the door, and he's going to knock, because he's a gentleman. You knock on the door, and you hear a muffled voice. Hello. Voice? Hi there, this is the, uh, I'm, I'm here to ask about your Bruins extended warranty. <laughs> Irene sighs so deeply. No! No, they don't I say don't anything, they just sigh so deeply. Apollo, you need to sneeze. But you can't sneeze for the next thirty seconds. I just want you to literally no word. That is literally the <laughs> word. You just need to sneeze, but you can't sneeze for thirty <laughs> seconds. Act of God. All right, moving on. Uh -huh. um, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, but if you could possibly um help. Who who are you? What? Who are you? Help with what? We're help, so... Uh -huh. We are the anomaly. There's a uh -huh. long silence. That doesn't make any sense. What Neither does this dusty-ass room. Uh -huh. What do you need help with? 
What do you... I need help getting out of this. My son. So who nope. are you? Nope. 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 I'm... Who are well, you? And why I'm... are you in this? And why are you stuck there? Well, and... I'm a final project, essentially. Are you friends of Micaiah? I'm, I'm a friend of Makai. All right. Let's go get Fern. Wait, 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 wait. Probably going to grab... Wasn't Makai the name of the dead girl in the yes. house? Yes. Can we assume that Chowie's saying that low so that he can't hear that? Yes, no. Yes, <laughs> I think... Like, I literally, as soon as they said Makai, I, like, scooped my arm around anybody I was close to and pulled them in and was just like, what the fuck? No. Kyrie? Kyrie? <laughs> yes, oh, that, that is the name. Kyrie pops their head up and they're like, wait, did you just say you were, you're a project? Yes. How long Kyrie you opens here? the door. Bro Quite some time. Um, going to the room fun. is completely uh... ransacked. Uh, just a mess. There are bed sheets everywhere, just papers everywhere. Uh, and on a what was once a lit desk, but the candles just completely burned down to the wick. There is a single, just cardboard box with air holes poked into it. Like Kyrie box size. looks inside the box. Apollo backs up. Roll me a d20. Sally completely steps outside <laughs> yeah. of the fucking Kyrie, house. you're by yourself. <laughs> you got Sally it. Sally is like, nope. Nope. Has like, that ever been a problem war. for Kyrene? Shaoku, uh... Kyrene hasn't come close to dying not once, okay? Uh, so no Kyrene, jinx, you... knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> as you, like, approach this box, you can see sort of, like, hastily written on it is Project Oxymoron. Um, you Wait. open the box, and there appears to be a dead cat inside. <gasps> Kyrene shrieks and back so like immediately like backs up to the point that they lose their footing and like ass in the doorway so shall we immediately grabs Kyrie yeah. and yanks her the rest of the way out of the fucking house Shauku. they're like it's a fucking it's a fucking dead cat in there Shaoku is still in the room he he does a produce flame and just holds it in his hand ready to throw it at something and kind of light up even more you light up the space before oh. anything else happens apollo is going to close the door leading out of the mm. dormitory yeah he's not going to let anything escape or anyone so the level, the level of props like if chubby could add chubby could give you inspiration or bonus right now through her eyeballs for what you just did she, she's doing it. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the 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 box is talking. The dead cat. Who who's talking? Uh, who you open the box. Uh, you didn't really nothing really talk. You open the door. Open the box. There's a dead cat inside, and the room is just completely silent. Oxymoron. Oh, oh, I'm thinking of onomatopoeia. And I roll Arcana on the cat body. Yeah, roll Arcana. Yes. I guess. And the voice isn't talking Arcana anymore. The voice is no longer talking, no. Boy. Yes, I'm definitely running our clown. Can Apollo close the other door that was that had the cat behind it? Uh, yeah, you can close the, room, uh -huh. the dorm room that you're in. Oh, okay. So you were just closed oh. in on this dorm. Um, 14 door. Arcana, oh. it seems to just be a, a dead cat. There's definitely absolutely been some magical tinkering with it, but you can't really tell what. Can I investigate Can... the rest of the oh, room? Wait, so close the so... fucking box. So does the bag of holding like hold everything? Uh, things that can fit inside it. It's got a limited amount of space. It gets like a two by two by two foot space in there, if I'm remembering correctly. It can hold like a third of the weight. I have seen how cats curl around themselves. If the bag of holding contains all the effects of something inside the bag of holding, I'm putting the cat in the well, the dead Jesus Christ. I'm putting the dead cat inside of the bag. Alright, you putting the box in there as well? 
Yes. Of all the things. Right. Open? The bag. Or closed? Closed? Yes, Kyrene is screaming to close the fucking box. Yeah. They don't as want to see it again. As soon as you close the box... Uh, that was very rude of you. Don't open things that don't belong to you. You're not Makaya. Well, uh, there's no way. And shall we literally... Are you fucking kidding me? What's in the box? box? Apollo moves closer. shoves it into her bag of holding. She's like, the no, box no, is no, shoved into the bag of holding. No! Um, oh, man. Uh, I was gonna dub the box Tiny Box Tem. Box can be in the bag of holding and still be called Tiny Box Town. It's Ooh, tiny, yes. tiny Box Tem. It holds tiny a box. very Tiny Box Tem. That's it, cute. It has a very dear and precious place. I used to play in boxes when I was a child. That box and Hi. I shall be good friends. I've always wanted a talking box. <laughs> tiny Box Tem. Oh my God! I've never released this out of my bag of holding while around Apollo because I was just going to claim it. Listen, I'm trying to make friends. And... Don't get me wrong, I love a good box, but <laughs> what are we really doing now with this box? I mean, is this... What... Is, it, yeah, is there thing? any, like, papers? I mean, like, you yeah. said that it was messy, and, like, are there any papers or journals in here that... There are papers strewn all about Roman investigation check to make sense of any. Okay, cool. Can I can I get in on that? Yeah, go ahead. I no, I, I none of you are touching the box. <laughs> I'm not rolling great today at all. Investigation. You're looking around, coming a lot of it. You like half completed homework and stuff like that. It's like, it's like, any any I'm other doors? No other doors. It appears to just be a simple room. Uh, Shauku. You see, you find an invitation letter um, amongst the papers, Shawuku. It is a lot older than your letters, okay, uh, in completely different handwriting. Um, yeah, that's. Paul, I have what a you question. Find. I have an answer. So the invitation letters. Do they stay as they were when they first showed up to us, always? Rephrase that question. What are you, what are you asking? Sorry. Do Okay, so let's say, for example, Chawi got her invitation letter this year, 1199. Maybe one of Chawi's previous queens got her invitation in 999. Oh, yeah, if you're looking for a date, there is a date. It is roughly 400 years ago. Oh. The question wasn't the date. The question was, would the letters look the same? Uh, no, the letters look starkly different. The handwriting is completely different. The paper is different. It's a different make. Okay. Once you. the uh, once the invitations are used to teleport here, is that spell or magic gone from the invitation? Uh, it is not. No. So this thing could potentially still be active. Is a way I can check and that, or you check and with your own arcana, you can definitely feel the sort of crackling energy of conjuration and teleportation. Hmm. Chawi looks keep at the letter in Shaku's hand and asks him, can you tell who it was sent to? The name on the invitation is Micaiah Shurspark. Micaiah Shurspark. Micaiah Shurspark. Can I roll a history check on that name, maybe? Roll me a history. Oh, shit. Eyes rolled to Huawei. An oxymoron is something that contradicts something else, right? Besides the fact that a box shouldn't be able to talk, what else could it be contradicting? As Apollo's sort of using this out loud, shall we? You think back to 
all your historical knowledge, you have read a lot of books about a lot of people, and you are almost certain that Sheriff Spark, Makaya, they're not really any historically significant names. I think that Charlie feels like there's something significant about this individual. Just like, you know how you have that thing with the tip of your tongue? Yeah, yeah I can't see. Yeah, what now? I mean, the box, you think the box can tell us something more? It probably can, Charlie. You should probably let it out and let us speak to the box. Charlie just kind of looks at them and is like, Get! She rubs her forehead. You never let shit out of the box before you know what the box is. We're not going to let just... anything out of the box. We're just going to talk to the box. Seems like they can only talk with the box closed. So. Charlie just kind of looks at both of them and is like, <clears throat> Go ahead. You can certainly try. And she kind of loosens one of the daggers in her belt. Uh, both of the daggers in her belt. <laughs> as she says, like, is there is there space to set it down and, and let us all get like five, ten feet away from it or there is space on the desk, yeah. So let's let's do that. Chow then... quietly slides outside of the room so that if she's covering the full doorway. It's like I right. add God damn it. We wanna pause for ads? Sure. We can use this time to talk about our sponsor, Raid Shadow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't even get me started. They, they've they come to me talking about, hey, play our game. And I'm just like, no. I don't want to play your game. I It's really sad. I play D&D and Animal Crossing. That's it. I, that's really I, funny. I don't play games. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think that's sad. Some people have. No, different not at all. My girlfriend's a killer at Power Wash Simulator and The Sims, so. I almost, so almost got that Power Wash Simulator. It's really good. That just seems aesthetically pleasing. It just seems cathartic. Mm. So speaking of Animal Crossing, we really need to collab on the common room because I'm totally turning one of my houses in Animal Crossing to our hill at door. <laughs> happening and the way the house is set up like there's one room on the top floor there is one two three four rooms on the main floor and, I and think there's we're... one room on yeah. the bottom floor can y'all hear us imagine they actually got an ad for raid shadow legends that'd be really funny God. are the ads done I think so, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, spectacular. <laughs> All right. So there is a space for yeah. the box to go. It's where you took it off the desk in the first place. So yeah, there's a space for it to go. Are you all just sort of backing up 10 feet? Shall we use out of the room? Yeah, let's back up and try and talk to it. Uh, so Mr. Box? You set the uh, box down on the desk? If it's called Box, it should definitely be Mrs. <laughs> That's not exactly my title, but yes. How, how can I help you disembody voice? Oxymoron. Um, I love that. How did you... What do you... How did you... How can like, we help you get out of the box? Well, you can open it. It might take a couple of tries, but uh, opening it is usually a good place to start. Well, I am you, not picking we, anybody's fucking lock again. <laughs> FYI, nope. It's not lock. It's it. simply, you know, difficult. How did you well, end up in there? Well, I'm a, a final project. So okay. class twelve one seventeen worked uh, yes. on you. Well, Makaya worked on me. It's sort of a um, a beginner assignment. Uh. What? Mm. Makaya is seems to be a project herself. What are you referring to? Shit. Shit. 
I mean, we we found Makaya. Oh, can you tell her to get back here? I'm very hungry, and she hasn't been here in quite some time. Oh, do you have that food on you, Chubby? I saw you. Do yes, I have. I have cocoa bread. I have patties. I have empanadas. I have pierogies. Can... Oxy? Oh, my backpack. Oxy, are you by any chance partial to cocoa bread? Sure. Shelby gives Oxy all the cocoa bread, like one at a time. She you kind of like Oxy push it through bread. the holes in the box. Yes, thank you. Now, if you wouldn't be so kind as to uh, open this box, it might, again, might take a couple of tries, but uh, eventually it should be all right. Well, here's why I'm confused because we just opened the box and then you stopped talking and then we closed the box and you started talking again. It's the nature of the project, yes. Again, it takes a couple of tries. Sometimes you open the box and I'm dead. Sometimes you open the box and I'm alive. It's all very complicated. God damn oh, it. Apollo's going to go and open the box. Literally Apollo's going to go and open the box. Roll me a d20. He's going to keep repeating. Open it. 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 Open can I can I keep repeating? You can keep rolling. Yeah, sure. Okay. Dead. Dead. Oh. Dead. Wow. Alive, oh. as you see this sort of sleek black pack okay. with uh, bright green eyes. Now we <gasps> claiming the You're cat. beautiful. Now we yes, I'm claiming the cat. Ember is jealous. Apollo. Oh. <laughs> Kyrene gives Ember scratches. Apollo, You're cute too. realizing that the box wasn't talking, looks very, very defeated and goes curl in the corner. Right. Oh. Now, where was Makaya? Oh, well. So, Makaya, uh, we actually aren't sure if she's even alive right now. That is pretty bad news. It's unfortunate. Um, she's not exactly dead. We can't say she's dead, but she's oh, quite familiar definitely. With the yeah, she's just not responsive right now. But she's under the care of a good professor. Wonderful. What happened the last time you saw Makai? Well, it was the uh, the day to present final projects. Uh, the first half of the class was going, and uh, then there was. A lot of silence, as is typical when you are trapped in a box for the majority of your entire existence. And then there was a lot of screaming, and uh, then a lot of silence. And it was silent for quite some time. And then there were some conversations, muffled voices. Um, I believe I heard the assistant dean talking a few times, and then a few other students, and then sometimes a kaya, and then sometimes other people, and then more silence. Long oh. silence. Oh. Long, long silences. Apollo's... Did you say the assistant dean? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Sir Hood. Are you a freshman? Does he still work here? <laughs> Kyrene just thinking like this all points back to this dude. Like what the fuck? You don't mm -hmm. think Securus is an amalgamation, do you? <clears throat> Himself. Shit. The amalgamation, the one that. Uh, sorry. What was your master's name again? Makaya. Makaya Schultz. Makaya mentioned them all, correct? You said you heard a bunch of voices, and then Securus, along with Makaya. Securus is every so often, every now and again, but uh, yes, long silences. Okay. He's still the assistant dean, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shelby just looks at the cat and is like, hey, I've got a patty. Want some filling? I've, I've already eaten, thank you. Um, yes, I've already eaten, thank you. Right, if you could point me in the direction of Makaya, that would be most helpful, thank you. That might be difficult. We honestly aren't sure. <laughs> I, I don't know if we should have you running around campus. That 
I suppose it makes sense. Uh, how long was I in the box for? 400 years. The cat kind of blinks. Oh, all right. Scarlet lines the cat. Probably just kind of looks at everybody else, all the non-cat people in the party, and is like, cat is full of bullshit. This cat rejected food. Start lying to the cat. I don't, I don't think they're a typical cat. And Kyrene turns to the cat. And speaking of which, what should we call you? Okay, kind of took it. Uh, I believe Makai had a nickname for me. Uh, Seymour. Seymour. Can Cute. I do an inside check on Seymour? Roll an inside check. Shelby is just, again, her entire face is covered. 13. Yeah. Oh. Thirteen. Um, the cat seems for the most part confused, but generally just nonplussed and nonchalant as cats are wont to be. Uh, Kyrene looks to the cat and crouches down um, to get eye level with it. And they're like, I don't mind taking you to Makaya's body, but you would probably have to remain in the box for a bit. No, I don't want to go back in the box. Um, well, I mean, I won't make you go back in the box. So if you don't want to go in the box, I'm not going to make you go in the box. We can we can make it work. But it's also risky to have you out. I mean, after all, nobody... The the things about Class 12-117 has, is under lockdown. Like, we have no idea what this is it even about. Right. But, yeah. like, most people don't know that about... Can you tell us more about the class? Mm, sure, it's advanced amalgamation, taught by Professor Security Silver. Uh, Makaya was rather fond of him, said uh, he was uh, inspiring, I believe this word. Do you know what your purpose was, or is, why were that you was made? a final project, a amalgamation between life and death, joining two forces that were equal but opposite oxymoron. So you were just, you didn't, okay. I was uh, something of a... Uh, Late familiar to the young Makai. Mm. Kyrene uh, sighs and tells Seymour how they found Makaya inside of the owl. And about, you know, the, the lock, like the class number that was on the back of the lock. And they then they say, do you know any, how she could have possibly ended up in there? Where where are the other... She said there was more like her. The cat kind of squints, and as you're explaining this story, uh, they start sort of, like, pacing around. And similarly to how Jen Lao seems to displace and shift, it's hard to focus on where this cat is as it moves. And it just kind of thinks for a moment. Something must have gone terribly wrong. Final projects. Yeah, I mean, and Hillard clearly doesn't want people to know what the hell went down with this class. Yeah, Everything about actually... this class is on fucking lock. There Can't was... even take the class anymore. Apparently there was quite the gap between when they were selecting students and possibly between then and now. It might have been that long. Yeah. Matter what, we do need to return to class 12117. If anything, it's probably there. Uh, do you know where it is? If it's under lock and key, I assume that uh, it's not easy to find via the Academy's normal means. <gasps> Kyrie, well, actually, never mind. Can... Allow me to check, and you see the cat sort of disappear. Chowie just totally perks up. Like, Chowie. All of Charlie's good sense vanishes, and she's like, "Yes, we go on. But wherever that creature is going, we go on." Mm -hmm. In the event that we cannot find this class, Kyrene, do you think you could use some of your magic again to perhaps make a bolt or a line, a burn mark to the actual location of said class? Uh, I can certainly attempt to. <laughs> Do we think Seymour can get through that wall? No, 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 no. This is all wrong. 
and Seymour has just sort of appeared between Shaoi's feet and sort of like passively nuzzles it before it begins to pace again. No, Chavo this is totally bends over and scratches his head as you know he passes through the feet. Yes, thank you. No, this is all wrong. This no. This is no. No. Seymour, let's let's calm down a little bit and figure out let let's think together. We can all put our heads together. The campus is wrong. What do you mean? Huh? The campus isn't the campus. How isn't the campus the campus? Well, I'm very well versed in things are what they're not and are what they're not. This campus isn't the campus that was here 400 years ago. What That's happened different. to the campus 400 years ago? This is a copy of a copy. A copy of a copy? <clears throat> Charlie, Charlie, uh, it's like when your friend still... has homework and you really like the homework, but you change the notes a little bit. But it's completely two different pieces of paper, but based on the, the same thing. Oh shit! And are no, you no, talking no. about this the? Is... Are you talking about the physical campus itself, or yes. some of the people too? Well, there's some of the same people up here. Yes, the the people were, I guess, taken over to the new campus, and then the old campus was is somewhere, but it's not here. The campus from 400 years ago isn't this. This this isn't it. And it again starts to pace and jumps up onto the desk where the invitation is. The energy in this one is completely different from the vibrations of this plane. Are you saying that the other campus could be on a different plane of existence? And that's what I'm proposing, yes. This campus isn't my campus. Charlie just kind of leans. That... Charlie leans over and scratches the cat. <clears throat> Would that mean that the there's a time? At the same time that she picks up the invitation letter. <clears throat> I'd be careful just... with that. That won't take it to the court that you know. Do you have the letter for here, shall we? You all have your letters for here. <clears throat> Then I think but I think this letter for here, I think this letter for here is a letter for here of many, many years ago. Do you think that will take us to the old campus? Yep. It's certainly possible. Mm -hmm. Kyrene looks at everybody and they're like, so obviously this is, this ship runs deep. We know that this is confirmed. Are we prepared? Is this like, do we need to go see somebody? Should we just fucking go? Cause I want to fucking go. So we want to, we want to use the invitation to get somewhere or do Where? we want to, do we want to try to take another crack at getting through that wall or do they lead to the same place? Do we think? Uh, Kyrene looks through the wall at... is where the hallway to classroom 12117 used to be, but it's not here on campus. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Do yeah. me a favor. And Apollo takes a piece of paper out of his bag and scribbles on it. Um, Shao Ku, can you give, can you send Ember to give this to Kazlin to let her know what, where, we're, that we might be missing and if we're missing for longer than a few Hello. days to start What's helping? Right, Apollo? I think if the familiar goes further than 100 feet from me, it disappears. Well, uh, it doesn't disappear, we... but you can't communicate with it telepathically, essentially. Ah, Not to okay. mention we are in the dorm rooms, and Kazlin's dorm is right across the way from Mars, oh, normally is. Oh, yeah, right. away. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll have her do that. Can you please put on there to tell Professor Fern? You've got it. She, sh she should update Professor Fern. Mm -hmm. Fuck, he's gonna fucking rage. Okay, cool. <laughs> Apollo contemplates the... writing, Kyrene has a crush on you. Chawi has a crush <laughs> on you. What? Excuse me? I <laughs> mean, <he> doesn't. <laughs> say it better than that. Say it better than that. Say Kyrene would like to invite you to a night out. <laughs> Listen, Apollo's like 19, he's fresh out of high school. Crushes are still a thing. And I mean, Chawi <laughs> just likes looking at your face. Shut up. <laughs> Kyrene side eyes Charlie, please don't hit on my brother. He's a professor. That's not no. 
He has a cute face! It could work out. I could see it. Oh my gosh. Adorable little Chawi is running around. Kyrene closes their ears. <laughs> and he folds oh up the God, letter and like... Uh, Shaoku, does Ember have like a collar on or anything? No, but it can, you know, gingerly... Take mouth, mouth and... Yeah. Okay, yeah. We just give the letter to Ember. So, and Ember scampers away. And come right back. Ember nods. Sort of gives a telepathic affirmation and then sort of makes its way across the hall. So... I'm after that extra credit. I wasn't joking about that. So, if we're going to do this, then let's make sure we do it right. We don't know what might be on the other side. Do you have any defensive or maybe probably is going to go into her room and grab like four extra daggers you have to sort of exit the old room sort of go to the empty space next to it pull out your dorm key form the door and sort of go into your room but it is you know pretty uh pretty simple just grabbing extra daggers and things like that i Hello. wish that i had a better organized spell book system because i would pull a couple of books off of the shelves in my room, but I think that's pushing it. Apollo uh, casts Mage Armor on himself. All right. Shoku ready to shield. We're stopping in the dorm, right? You are. Kyrene grabs um, a little uh, ivy plant just to carry with them. <laughs> All right. And the four of you stand in your dorms. So we are holding this invitation letter to a Hillard from 400 years ago. Sim, Sim, Salabim. You gotta say that. Kyrene, like, are we supposed to hold hands? Should we hold hands? Anyone proficient in Arcana would know you should probably be touching, yes. Okay. Uh, Kyrene instructs yeah. everybody, all right, we need to touch each other. So we do it. So Kyrene pulls everybody into a big group hug. <laughs> uh, I am group hug. very uncomfortable with this. Oh, Sam, Kyrene like um, opens their arm and it holds. Sorry. It's all about. Don't, don't be touching my booty. <laughs> and it is with this energy that conjuration magic begins to develop under your feet. Shaoku, it is your magic, but there is something older that has been spiked into it, and as the lot of you descend down the dark, I'm going to take you over to a map. Oh boy. That's not good. Uh, oh boy. Boy. It's another well-drawn and illustrated map by Apple. Like, woods and fuck. Woods and fuck. The lot of you are in a classroom. Completely dark. Your night vision is the only thing that allows you to see uh, maybe 16 desks, old, old, old wood, and just a few papers and qu quills sort of scattered about. And standing before you all is what appears to be a, another student in the Hillard uniform. Uh, you can see a pair of devilish horns sort of peeking out from this very curly red hair and eyes that are closed for the moment. They appear to be taking a nap on the teacher's desk. Does this room look like it's old or or clean? Does it look just like a normal room? It looks pretty dusty, actually. Uh, normal classroom sort of thing. You're all kind of standing at separate desks, and the student, as this sort of blinding, fiery light uh, envelops the room for just a moment, you see their eyes kind of, like, close and squint a little bit at the light. They don't open them, as they just sort of say, you know, Securus, your entrances are getting less and less dramatic each and every time. No... Sorry, DM, did you say Securus? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. 
<clears throat> called it. Um, I, I'm just trying to like halt by the doorway and wait for this individual to fully wake up and realize that we are not the parents. What what could I roll to try to imitate Securus's voice? Deception. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can I read? Let's go, Nat 20. Let's roll Nat 20. Okay. 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 Not bad. Perfectly, you know, a little, a little above average, just a tiny bit. As you what are you what are you saying as Securus? Um, I think I am going to say, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I have a flair for the dramatic. And as you say that, uh, a single eye opens <laughs> and looks at you, the four of you. Oh my goodness. You're not secure Hillard. They kind of like sit up on the desk, not properly, but just feet kind of like dangling off of it, and they kind of like tilt their head. Kyrian waves sheepishly. <laughs> I thought that would work. <laughs> of course you would. You're a student. And you are too. What are you doing here? They kind of tilt their head. What are you doing here? I could ask you the very same question. I asked you first. We're lost. We're lost, actually. <laughs> Evidently so. Could you, you know, uh, shed some light for us? Uh, who are you? How are you? I'm Kai. Nice to meet you, Kai. And you are? You can call me Serenity. So, uh, sir- hey, Serena, you were told this was Amalgamation 101. Are we in the wrong place? No, 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 no. This isn't that classroom. That classroom is elsewhere in the university. Uh, can I ask you how you got here? This is a very particular kind of loss to be. Uh, I, I tried to cast a spell. And... Teleportation magic, you know, it's it, it's tricky to pinpoint the right places. Fair enough. What spell are you trying to cast, Kevin? Uh, something I was working on. Just a little personal thing I wanted to try out. Oh, okay. As they kind of smile and they tilt their head and sort of look the four of you, you hear a voice coming from directly behind you. Students, get behind me now. As you turn and see the tall visage of Professor Securus Hill, his wand is in hand, and he is not taking his gaze away from the student. The student? How we immediately slide the behind the professor. Yep, noted. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can I insight the, the professor? Roll an insight check. Hold on. Ah, come on. I'm not able to, to move my... Uh... Nice. Are you not able to move? Hmm. Yeah, on no, my screen... Like, all I see on not. my screen is myself. This see should the be... Classroom. I can't. Yeah, my okay. I can see mine now. Everybody else is faded, yeah. besides Chawe. Uh, that's just because it's night, and I think Chawe is at the front of the. Oh, I can move. Oh, shit, okay. that's not where I wanted to be. Fuck, nope, nope, nope. I did not. Like where are you trying to be, Chawe? I am. Wait, what did I do to myself? Are they on the wrong layers? Apple? Could be. Seems like. Yeah, because, like, I can't move myself. Wait, maybe can I? Okay, there we go. Yeah, you should be able to do Apollo, and you No, Charlie is, per usual, lurking in the fucking back. With a 20 inside Apollo, 
Mm. You can immediately tell that Professor Hillard is trying to keep cool, but there is an air of urgency that's sort of underneath his features. Apollo, get behind me now. Apollo. Okay, so, uh, ooh, ooh, is Apollo uh, you hear the students speak. I wouldn't do that if I were you. He's going to kill you for what you know. Ex- Apollo excuse me? hesitates upon hearing that. Can I incite the the sec- what's his name? Secure? Secure. Yeah, I, I just I rolled a insight on them and I got a twenty. Uh, can I oh. now insight the, the student? Roll an insight check. Oh god, these insight checks, man. Not bad though. That's solid. Apollo, there is a look of pure joy and amusement on this student's face. Nope. Does it appear uh, that they're whatever... lying? It does appear that they're lying. Okay. They That's... do not appear to be being honest. Alright. That that kind of seals the deal for me. And Apollo's gonna slowly back up to where the teacher is. Uh... Kyrene cast mage armor. <laughs> you see Securus without taking his eyes off the captain. How did you get here? Oh. Oh. Kyrene. I, I think we could talk about that later. We seem things are more important. There are ads happening, so nothing's more important than the raid shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so quick while ads are going on. Um, I see most of the party down like at the... Kyrene, I think that's the wild magic search, right? It is. Oh, yes it is. Oh, shoot. I see most of the party at the west. And we're at, we were at, at a couple of last time. Mm-hmm. That was a miracle how you weren't rolling so low for mm-hmm. so, for quite some time. Is it back, everybody? I don't know. I feel like there's one more ad. Or at least I have Can one I more. I closer to y'all? Like, because y'all are all at the west, and I'm like the southeast, and I would greatly like to move closer to all of you. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thank no you. So. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like, yeah. You're saying to that, use the so. command for wild magic. All right. So, yes, uh, Use the wild magic surge command, if you would, Kyrene, as you cast Major. And this energy that has been crackling inside wild you magic. since you arrived, the killer. Hold on to your butts. Hold on, am I I'm close? Uh, I'm hold on, I'm scrolling up, because he put it in chat earlier. Yeah. Uh, it's in rollable tables, so if you go in macros, it's like next to the truth box, and you can roll it there. Oh, cool, okay. Mm-hmm. Rollable tables. Wait, I'm I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, I might be only one. That's right. pretty fucking useful. Yeah. Mistake. So if you die within the next minute, you immediately come back to life, as if by reincarnate cell. So yeah, you feel the cycle of nature infuse into every cell in your body, and the worries of death aren't as urgent as they will be in about one minute and one second. I so yeah, you see, Doctor Curious ask students, how did you get here? Would you believe us if we said magic? He looks at you, Apollo. We had an invitation. Where did you get the invitation? Can we talk about that later? I think we need to talk about this now since we're here. How about in we front get of out in front here? of in um, front of they nod like at the student. And the student just grins at you. You see these pointed teeth. Kyrene grins back like. Hi, not talking about you. Like, turn us back to Securus. So, right now? You really want to know this right now? Right now, yes. We used an invitation. At, we got it from a room uh, from a student from 400 Which years student? ago. I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I failed you all. Can any of you remember her name? Micaiah. <clears throat> Thank you. Micaiah. Jesus Christ. 
Shorspark. Makaya Shorspark. Yes, M- Makaya Shorspark. She was attached to an arrow, wasn't she? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. How did you... I, I don't mean, think like, we need to be you... telling this person anything. Did you have a part in that? No. Well, I suppose in some way, yes, but not directly. No. Can Can we get out of here now? I have a that doesn't... bad feeling. That answer isn't enough for Kyrene. And you said we did insight Securus? You did insight Securus on a 20. It seems that he was trying to keep his cool, but there is an urgency. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Are you responsible for the other students being turned into projects? As you're moving away from Securus, Chawi and Kyrene, they kind of, he kind of gives you a look. Where are you going? You need to get behind me now. They're not safe. I I don't think either of you are. Charlie just kind of looks at Kyrene and is like, ditto. Ditto. Yeah, what are you doing here, Securus? Why are you here now? I don't have time to answer questions. You need to answer mine. Now, where did you find Kaya? And what if we don't answer you now? Then I will be forced to take action against you. I look at the group. Y'all want to dance or we want to tell this guy the business? What do y'all want to do? I don't recommend <laughs> fighting a teacher. I'm no mean teacher. I'm Stark Desecrator, the amalgamate wizard, and I would highly recommend telling him the business, as you put it. I don't recommend trusting either of these motherfuckers. What's the worst that can happen? I assure you, I'm much more trustworthy than he is. Does well, my insight let me know that she's still lying? Um, that's actually not a lie. Oh. Well, it's not a lie, but it's not the truth either. There's something, there's something odd going on, Apollo. It's hard to put your finger on. tell me anything are you we could just show you no i'm not showing you shit no, oh my god I'm i was lying i was I'm lying sure. you guys gave oh, it away sure. thank you <laughs> does apollo say that yes <laughs> he does god damn it this is like the first time Karina's student. like hold yeah, no you like both the student and secure's laugh Let's let's go let's go talk, Securus. Let's let's leave. Shauku, uh Securus cast the spell at you. There is a bolt of this crimson red lightning that shoots out towards you brighter than anything any of you have ever seen, and it pierces Shauku in the chest and goes right through him. Uh, you take no damage. Mm, mm. What? What? What the fuck was that? Roll my contract, Kyrie. Did you just attack me? Yeah, solid. Kyrie, um, that was an illusion. And peering around the classroom, uh, you see written up on the central chalkboard, uh, advanced illusion. Oh, boy. Is this even He's, the real Are you secure? really trying to fuck with us? As you say that, Kyrene, um, there is another laugh from the student. Sakira's Hiller just disintegrates into nothing. You see flesh melt off his skin, and then muscles, and then the bone, and then ash sorry for the theatrics it's it's been quite a while since i've had anyone to play with that wasn't me um hi i'm serenity we just killed a teacher oh god are we going to jail Kyrene completely ignores apollo <laughs> <laughs> it starts making their way to fucking serenity all right 
You you definitely had me. I'm not gonna lie. It was really funny, wasn't it? It it was kind of the skin melting off was like a nice touch, but also like fucking scary. So I like it. It was okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, it was really funny, wasn't it? It it was kind of so the really, skin what are you melting doing off was like a nice touch, but also like fucking scary. So I like it. It was okay. Oh, We're checking things out. Yeah, We're. Really funny, wasn't it? It, what well, more is there to say? Really, we were looking for Amalgamation 101. Amalgamation 101 is, I suppose, on the other end of the Academy. Are you perhaps looking for Advanced Amalgamation? Um, I mean, it would be interesting to see. Is that what this is? No, this is Advanced Illusion. Hmm. And you're, uh, like... As Shaku's talking, Apollo whispers to him, don't forget, advanced amalgamation is the thing that, uh, my, god damn it, I can't remember her name. My, Makaya Shurspark was talking about when we interrogated her. Uh, Shauku, roll me a perception check. Something's off about Apollo, you can't quite put your finger on it. Okay. Something's off about Apollo. Oh, shit, did oh, I die? Shall I kind of side-eyes Apollo? Yeah. And then um, looks at the uh, woman and it's like, mm, how about you step back a little bit? Yeah. I assure you, there is nowhere you're safe, no matter where I step. Why are we unsafe? What do you, what do you, what are your well, intentions? You're... Well, to play with you a bit first, of course, but eventually I'm going to have to amalgamate you. Oh. Do we have a choice in that? I suppose, in a sense, you have a choice. What do you mean? You mean you're going to use this as a project? You're going to become the project. With whose permission? Mine. <laughs> You've clearly fucking lost it. <laughs> where, I... where's, where's Securus? How do you know Securus? Securus is trying to save us, the poor soul. Us means... I see. They'll be here any moment. I'm stalling you. Kyrene immediately starts to look for an exit. There is a door on the uh, sort of top left corner of the classroom. Like, sorry, or like over yeah. here? Okay. Um, Who are you? Shaoku tries to open the door. It Kyrene is... casts a message to Chawi and it's like, let's get the fuck out. Um, As you okay. do that, Kyrene, you're casting a message to where Chawi should be and nothing is received. Kyrene like taps their temple like, what the fuck? Is my connection oh. dead or something? No signal. No signal. Like, what's going on? Can you tap your own temple? Yeah, so you tap your temple. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Can I'm, I make I'm an arcana one check? Oh, well, sorry. We are, we're classroom 12, 1, 17. All of us. Us. Plural. Meaning. Oh, yes. oh no. Did You're the door the not open? The door did not open. It is firmly locked. Firmly locked. You're the Break amalgamation, it. aren't you? The grand project, the final. I am someone's grand project. Yes, I'm not sure who. We don't quite remember. But it's quite the endeavor, don't you think? All these brilliant minds in one glorious form. Well, many glorious forms, but one glorious consciousness. The ultimate amalgamation. The ultimate chimera. Don't you want to be a part of it? Sorry. Oh, Kyrene isn't gonna oh. fucking cry. They're like Sorry. they're they're honestly about to cry because they feel terrible for all the students who have become projects. That is some deeply fucked shit that I... I'm more of yeah. a 
one man band, and with that, Apollo is gonna draw his bow. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And why you're not? Kind of leaving, you're leaving us no choice here. Like we don't want to be amalgamated, a part of that. That's fair, but if you hurt me, you're hurting hundreds, possibly thousands of innocents. Only one of us is guilty of doing the final project. Who? We don't remember. I'm sure the answers are somewhere on this campus. Don't you want to explore a bit? We can play. Mm, not together. Oh. All right. Let's come on. Uh, Kyrene digs into their, their bag of holding and pulls out their Hillard letter. Kyrene does the same. Yeah, let's um, get the fuck up out of here. Leaving so soon. Sorry, well, we'd love to play, but. Again, we'll again, you're not really saying anything that's wanting us to stay. I'm telling you the truth, though, which is more than secure as Hillard ever will. Is there anything? Is, is there any way to help you all? Oops, well, sorry. I suppose go if. Go ahead, Charlie. No, know secure as Hillard as about as well as I know you. Hmm. That is fair. We can get to know each other a lot better. As opposed to helping, I suppose, um, if you could find the guilty one and end them, then it would be a lot easier to unbake the cake, as it were. Securus has been working at this little equation for about 400 years now, and he's... Well, he's stumped. It's like trying to uh, unbake a cake, because there's a rotten egg in there. So if you were to go for the guilty one, where would you start? Hmm, if we were to go for the guilty one, that's a good question. Roll persuasion check, Shoku. Cool. Can I give the help action? I was also going to give the help action. How are you going to help? Uh, I kind of want to say, does this back him up? Like, I mean, yeah, this we, we want to help you. Uh, I, I'm sure you may like the hive mind thing, but being your own person could be cool, too. It is nice to be free of that many thoughts roaming in your own head, wouldn't it be? Could be nice. It kind of blinks. Well, I suppose the answers would be primarily finding a class roster in classroom 12117. Mm, noted. We'll help you. We'll be back. Uh, nope. Uh, Kareem looks at the group and they're like, "All right, time to time to bounce." All right, I'm ahead. Out. Yeah, Paul's gonna grab his letter and try to teleport back. All right. Same. All right. Yep. Yep. The four of you. The four of you grab your letters. The magic is inactive. I distinctly did not like that. Well. Any other suggestions on how to get to uh, room 1217? I can take you there myself. Or we can all be there together. Okay. And it lurches forward at you. Everyone roll initiative, please. Oh, Wait, I thought the magic. Um, Wait, the, the, the magic. What? Wait, the magic. I'm sorry, did you just say roll initiative? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what the fuck did, did that you guess? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my fucking god. I am not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Oh. There you go. Oh, so you, just, you just lied. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, so you just lost. Let's okay. go! Snappity snap snaps. Oh, boy. Sorry. Wait. Let me... Okay. Nope. That's not the one. Sorry. I have to close my shit. Wait. What the... I know. Sweet Jesus. Roll initiative. Chat gotta chill. Click on myself. Roll initiative. Final Fantasy 14 boss music starts. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting <laughs> combat tonight. I was expecting us uh, to go to bed. Uh... Oh my god. We won't get go. to go very long. Go. Oh, and Charlie, what is your initiative? Um, working on it. Everyone's I think. Wonderful. Apollo. Mm -hmm. You're up first. Yep. Sure am. <laughs> I hate my life. Um. Alright. Okay. Apollo is gonna loose that arrow that he was holding on to. Ready to shot. Apollo's uh Apollo's bow now has um these this kind of uh mystic wisps floating off of it. Seven uh, fourteen, allow me to check that real That indeed will hit. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. That was with the ye old sharpshooter, so sharpshooter on. Genie's rep. And I don't have hex on, so there we go. Woo. 20 damage, Apollo, as you hit this student directly in the eye. Blood starts to ooze and gush from the wound. And it does not do have enjoyed that at all. And as you do this, it just kind of tilts its single eye at you. It goes, no, 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 no. That won't do it all. Go away now. And the rest of the party. Whoops, don't you watch. Something. You're all good. You watch Apollo's skin melt. And then his muscles. And then his bones. And then he's dust. What? What? Kyrene is like blinking furiously, like not trying to believe it because we know that she does fucked up shit. So like they're just they're what? just not trying to believe what they've just seen. So am I just dead or <laughs> uh Apollo, what you see from your perspective is three of your party members. Their skin melts, muscle melts, skeleton melts, they are dust and you are alone in the room with this student as the illusions of your fellow classmates fade into nothingness. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's that's no good. That's that's no good. Um Apollo. Apollo's gonna cast hex on the student. Easy enough. His bonus action, and then use his movement to GTFO. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. And then he's gonna end his Terran. It's crazy, we can't even see you on the map anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The rest of the party just watched an arrow fly towards the creature and then just go straight through it like it was nothing. Kyrene, it is your turn. Uh, fuck. Uh, Kyrene's like, gonna need you to give me back my friend. And they're gonna spend a sorcery point to use a uh, careful spell. So that way their members don't get hit with this spell and they're gonna cast Wither and Bloom. Alrighty. What's it gotta roll? Uh, DC Con, 14. Ooh. That is going to be a grand one. 11 to save. Nice. So, let's see, 2d6 necrotic damage. Did it, it didn't automatically roll it, okay. Well, God damn. Cool. Also, what number are we up to on the wild magic right now since it's been reset? Is it two? Since you, yep, it is two and below now. Okay. Kyrene, you watch the rest of your party member melt into nothing. 
as the illusion fades, and you find yourself standing alone in a classroom. Oh, one view. This particular strange illusion age. Uh, Kyrene kind of backs up, even though, you know, for a caster, that doesn't really <laughs> matter. Um, can they try to s figure out, like, how to break this illusion? Roll me an Arcana check. Not great. Ah, uh, it's fucky wucky in here. You're not exactly sure what the fuck's going on. Got it. Yeah, that I'll. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna use Tides of Chaos. Can I use Tides of Chaos on that to give me advantage? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna roll that again. Uh, and with this, if you want, you can <laughs> make me have a wild magic surge. <laughs> Whenever I want, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can roll on the wild magic surge table after I cast this. It's all good. It's when you cast the next first level, so you uh, right. and then I will keep that in the chamber for later. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that'll, that'll end my turn. Alrighty. So roll another Arcana. Oh, I did. I got a nine. Oh, poor thing. All right. Well, I next know. up we have a, a student. <laughs> the student, sh Shawuku, shall we? You see the other one melt directly in front of you. And you are alone in the room. We shall see. Hmm. Right. I would like each of you to make an intelligence saving throw, please. Which two of us? Shall we and shall we? Uh, all of you. Oh, dang, okay. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. use my inspiration. Oh my god! Can I use my inspiration? Oh, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. also want to use mine. Okay, well, it didn't help that much, but alright. Come on. Oh, oh, I cry. I cry. Intelligence saves. Build a charisma. <sighs> make a charisma save. Wow. My baby built kind of goofy, you know? The bottom dropped out of the nat 20 on that one. Sheesh. Right, yeah. They all just kind of. You all see a pool of acid just erupt beneath your feet. And. We're all going to take just a little bit of damage, just a skosh. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. So, Kyrene, you're gonna take one point of psychic damage. Got Apollo, it. you're gonna take six points of psychic damage. God. What? Chawi, you're gonna take five points of psychic damage. And Chauku, you can take three points of psychic damage. And I almost forgot that on initiative 20, there was a lair action. Um, as all this is happening in like the split seconds, you are all hearing combat coming from just across the walls, across adjacent classrooms and things like that. And you reckon that your other companions have been in an entirely separate room this entire time and conversing with illusions of each other similarly to what you were conversing in. Outside, in the hallway, you hear a thud of a footstep that shakes the floor in all of your spaces. 
And that's where we're going to end this session. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit. Yo. That's pretty hard. Scary. <laughs> I'm actually glad because Shaoku was confused as fuck. <laughs> Was the number of times I'm Fucking gonna need wild. to rewatch this session to figure out what the fuck just happened. Welcome to Advanced Illusion. Bro, we got hit with the Genjutsu. I need to take you, this uh this class. You 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 really need to get more sleep, bruh. <laughs> like this what the, Oh my god. I'll never get sleep. I can't die. <laughs> I can't be killed. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna let that never dies. And not be Alrighty. negotiated with. <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm I that I, this illusion I stuff is incredible. So... Alrighty people, we are signing off. Plugs for everybody. Starting with Mr. Apple. Uh, I'm Apple Juice on everything. I haven't posted anything yet, but I might start posting some Hillard content of just downtime things pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can find me, Plot Smoke, pretty much everywhere. Um, Instagram, Twitch. I'm trying to post some stuff recently, so come check me out. Shall we? Hey. Hey, yo, y'all, I am Phenomenoir, also known as K Phenomenoir on Twitter. I might start trying to post some stuff from Chavi's point of view, because Chavi's kind of an interesting person. Um, I'm stressed. I don't even know what the hell's going on tonight. <laughs> Love y'all. See y'all later. Last but not least, Kyrie. Uh, King V everywhere. King with a Y. Uh, had so much fun tonight. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Apple. <clears throat> yeah, this was dope. Um, of course, you're welcome. Leg legitimately confused. <laughs> I'm so drama This was incredible. And I have been your host, Shadowmaster G6. I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns in the next one. Shout out to Ignis, the Unknown, and Miss Yanami for the follows. Deeply appreciated. I'll see you beautiful sons of guns in the next one. Goodbye.